everybody. Pew, pew, pew. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. That's what our blasters sound like. Yeah. Pew, 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 pew. In, in the far distant past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pew, pew. Uh, guys, welcome. Welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining us. This is mm -hmm. Never Tell Me the Odds, the Star Wars RPG podcast and stream. The stream and podcast where a group of nerds, comedians, improvisers, cool people play through the Star Wars RPG by Fantasy Flight Games. How cool is that? Yeah. We have cool people wow. on the stream. Yeah. Wow. At least a uh, couple people right here at this table. Terry's what? pretty cool. Terry is very cool. Yeah. Terry's dope. Terry's dope. She ain't playing Terry. tonight. No. But she has played. Check out episode <laughs> five, Wrath and Rancor. That's got to some good stuff. To see cool people. Right. <laughs> no, who Let's do we have? Stay with us tonight for <laughs> hmm? people who are here. Right. Yeah. And nerds and improvisers <laughs> who may be cool and may surprise you. But who are these people who may be cool and may surprise us? Well, they I'm David. Good question. David Crennan. Mm -hmm. uh, trying real hard to earn that title, America's DM. Will you let me into your heart? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and prove that tonight. Uh, <laughs> and that, of course, makes these players here America's players. A round of applause. For the whole country. Woo, Tyler! <laughs> Woo! Out it sounds, of everyone. Sounds so sad when there's just one person applauding in the room. I know, and really? then cheering oh, for himself. Not what a, that's not what applause sounds like? You know what just we need? Just one person clapping? We need uh, some canned applause and some canned laughter. <laughs> Always on tap. Right, a button maybe. Yeah. Yeah, right, just right here in the middle. So we're like, we want someone to clap for us. None of us would have used that at all, I'm sure. No. <laughs> every, time, every time you make a joke and no one laughs at it, you go, oh, God. Can you imagine Amy with that button? Oh, gosh. That would be a nightmare. Okay, so you ruined the idea. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine luck. any I For anyone, any because Amy would abuse it. <laughs> <laughs> See, exactly. You always have to consider Amy. As long as I've got... Yeah, it's true. She's we the real X Factor. <laughs> also, not playing tonight. But she did right. play back in episodes two, three, <laughs> and seven. So check those episodes out. Yeah. Those are all available online, but uh, we'll get into that in a minute. Who are these beautiful people who might be cool that we're playing with tonight? America's players. I'm going to start. I'm going to shake things up a little bit huh? and start with Talene this time. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Like, what? That's wild. David, you really you really got me. I like to just mix it up. Man. So and you do. Look how tell us, off she is. Can you tell us who you are and who you're playing and what the last thing that character ate was? Last thing she ate? Yeah, your I character. Got okay. <laughs> Just making sure. Yeah, that's right. Hello. Are we switching cameras? We are? Because the sure. light's on over here, but I want to talk to this camera. Don't <laughs> call, well, don't call attention to the man behind the curtain. I'm just, I'm just... <laughs> He'll vanish. I don't want to sit and stare this direction with a <clears throat> camera, because I'll look weird. Er. Hey, everyone. I'm er. Celine, and uh, welcome tonight to Never Tell Me the Odds, where I will be playing... A human scientist <laughs> in, uh, doctor. I'll be playing, uh, what am I playing? <laughs> Tavia Bockler. <laughs> Tavia Bockler? The what space she... doctor. <laughs> yeah. I know how it is. I know you all know that I find a joke I like, and then I just say it over and over again. It's good. And laugh. That's it's the heart of, every time. It's yeah. the heart of comedy, right? Yeah. Jokes get funnier. I'll pom Mr. It, Troy! It's exactly every telling. Mr. Troy! Yeah. Mr. Troy! Troy Thank you for resubbing. Yeah, I ran into Troy. Mr. Troy at the Renaissance Festival just the other day. No way! Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. He's a real person. The He's a real person. Bed. He's played with us. He did? Oh, that's Troy! Uh, uh, tell them oh. which episode they should check. Episode six. <clears throat> no, seven. Because we're in episode eight now. Episode seven. Subtitled Heart of Kyber. The Heart <laughs> I remember. of Kyber. Sounds like it was pirates. Let me tell you the last thing that Tavia Doctler, the space doctor, ate. The human doctor, space doctor. Yes, gotcha. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, the last thing Tavia Doctler ate was some poop got in her mouth when we were down in those caverns. Does that count as eating it? I don't know. <laughs> what about what about prior to? Involuntarily Prior ingesting. To... What was the last time she was okay. like, I'm going to eat this? I'm going to eat this on purpose. She was at the bar uh, yeah. laying down some heavy scrunch and needed to put something. Wait, is it scrunch? Scunch. Shh. Scunch. <laughs> this lady knows. Yeah. We haven't introduced you yet, so I'm not going to say her name, but she knows. Paying attention. I know one. It's, uh, it's right. It's my character. Can't remember the name. It's good. So you were probably eating Laying, some flarf I've, with I've that, been, a side of flarf? I just had, I had a side of flarf because I was like, whatever you got. 
to my good friend, the proprietor of the Missing Arm Tavern. It's the Severed Arm, that's, that's right. It was the mm. name of the tavern. Mm. Alberto! Yeah, he, had, he had slid some little um, little side dishes towards you. Yeah. yeah, we've got dried flour. We've got a little I ground say, flour right here. And I'm like, Alberto, when are you going to open a restaurant in this place? Because the person can't live off of dried flour forever. I was like, then, yeah, you can. And then I was like, but I basically have. Why would anyone want to eat something other than flour? <laughs> you basically have. <laughs> flour, the gray mash that we derive from the lichen which grows on the stones. Yeah, it's basically the same ingredients as the scunch, only not fermented. You let them ferment As first. much. Yeah. <laughs> Who wouldn't like to eat nothing but lichen all day? <laughs> he says, gesturing at the blasted desert landscape which stretches out on all sides, essentially, infinitely. This desert landscape. I mean, you could always um, get one of those Jedi. Norcros and kill them and pluck them and roast what? them. What? The sacred Nycro! <laughs> How dare you! Did it infest our buildings and crap on everything we love? Get out of our bar! <laughs> get out of here! I was just a suggestion. It was some meat. <sighs> oh. And he turned away and went walked away. Thinking heavily uh -oh. uh, about uh -oh. that. So, but yeah, that's right. But that's all, of course, taking place in this town, which I'll reveal more of this map in a minute. But on this planet, Jetta, the planet of Jetta, guys, that's a reference to Star Wars. That's an episode. Uh, oh, nothing. A Star Wars story. Oh, Rogue yeah. One. Yeah, Star Wars. If you guys saw Rogue episode One, I love Star Wars. I think this I've is heard great. Of it. Yeah. Yeah, well, this is a Star Wars thing. No so way. You guys must be thrilled. Wow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh, this is, I, but it's, we're not taking place during the Rogue One story. This is 30 years later, of course, Force Awakens era. Um, and a bunch of people are still hanging on onto this fractured, shattered planet that got struck by the Death Star long ago. Uh, and now it's just a little forgotten backwater. Or it was forgotten until the huts showed up, but we'll get to that in a minute. Other side of the table, Kelsey. Who is Kelsey? What is Kelsey doing, and what's the last thing your character ate? These are all good questions, Tom. All good questions. Tom? Yeah, Tom. Thanks, know. Tom. Yeah, you'll get my name right one of these days. One of these days. <laughs> Nobody tell her, though, and let's see if she can figure it out. I even know. though I just introduced myself a thanks, minute ago. Thanks, Leonard. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm actually pleased. If you confuse me with Tom Lommel, then that makes me happy. Yeah, I'd take know. that. I don't know why I said Tom. Christian Lindke. Hey, Christian Lindke. Hi, Christian Lindke. Gentleman Lisa. Christian. <laughs> Gentleman Christian. Hmm. Thank you Guys, for I'm trying to find my talent tree. I am fighting a bug, so I probably will not make sense tonight. You're fighting a bug? Oh no! I don't know. Like I, is it? Trooper. I don't think it's like a, a bug? kind of bug. But Do we all need blasters? I'm like that. So I will be playing Tintabu, your resident Twi'lek mechanic. That's right. So last time we People established people will call her Tin. Tin. That's Please right. Just call me Tin. <laughs> last time we established that you uh, have your your head tails are wrapped up in like. Um, the grimy, oh yeah, uh, uh, bandanas, bandanas and, and yeah. stuff. That's so. She's cool. got her coveralls on. She always got a wrench on her. Oh, for oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, I mean, where are you gonna kind of mechanic go somewhere without their trusty wrench? I think most mechanics, but I like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So that's tin to be. One of these days, my wrench will get replaced by my lightsaber, but. That's right. You have a lightsaber. You know. It's important. We should. We'll, we'll circle back around to that in a second, guys. <laughs> uh, but more importantly than your lightsaber, what was the last thing Tin ate? I'm curious. What is, is the last? Is thing there anything tin else ate? to eat on this planet besides Flark? Uh, That's a good question. Flark is what they serve in the severed arm cantina. Okay. Severed limb. Uh, I don't know though. I mean, there definitely are things you could hunt out in the wastes. Oh, that's not gonna happen. Nothing good. <laughs> Care package from home. <laughs> Nope, that's no, definitely not, not going to happen. Cards. Yeah, um, probably I mean, just some sad flarf that she oh. made in her apartment <laughs> by herself. Sad flarf. <laughs> sad, sad flarf. <laughs> the best kind of flarf. You know, she doesn't. She forgets to eat. She gets consumed in her work, and then you know, a couple days later, she's like, "I should eat," and she goes and just makes some flarf and, and eats then, it over the sink. Just like right. dripping flarf. Mm -hmm. It's just sort of like. So mm -hmm. that that meal may have been right around the time you heard the. Knock on the door, and as Alberto banging with his one arm, going, "Are you in there, Tin? You yeah. owe me for the rent. Right. You <laughs> owe me." Right, and I That's pretended right. definitely to not be there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and he walks away, going, "My cross, mm. <laughs> delicious. <laughs> good work." All right. <laughs> And then last, but by no means least. No, last and least. Oh, that's true. Oh, no. Last and demonstrably least. I like to wink. Hi, uh, everybody. My name is Tyler Rhodes. 
Uh, I'm excited to be here tonight. Tonight I'm going to be playing the character of Shar Besh, uh, who is a human smuggler native to Jeddah, uh, formerly of Nai Jeddah, uh, escaped shortly before it was blasted into oblivion. Um, that which was over here in this massive yes. gaping magma field that is... <laughs> gaping. Yeah, like a gaping wound. Like it's just yes. oozing... Ooh. Festering what a wound. Gross word. Gaping H is hundreds of Isn't miles. It? Oh, I thought festering was when you were. No, I mean gaping. I think is worse than festering. I agree. There's really? a reason for something that festers. Nothing should ever gape. <laughs> yeah. What about? I agree. Everything you're saying, <laughs> I agree with. <laughs> That's a strong opinion on that. Yeah. Word. <laughs> I just don't approve. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So this this uh, this yawning. There we go. Uh, wound upon the planet, hundreds of miles across. Uh, it's never healed, in fact. Because something that is gaping should be closed. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know? Yeah. You don't want to have a gaping wound. Oh my gosh. Wound. I think yeah. we can agree on that. Yeah. yeah, but also gaping is like, you can be like, your mouth is open. Yeah, what if you're a gog at something? Would mm. you, could you gape at that point? And then it's you're just showing off all the gross inside of your mouth. Oh my gosh. You were trying so hard to hate this. The, like, the strands, the little uh, saliva really? strands. Really? Like, Man, gaping. I hate when people open a their mouths. A gaping maw. Something with a closed <laughs> mouth is Stitch nice, them all closed. Strong, attractive. And if it's gaping, no. I disagree that anything should be gaping. You're right. Chat wants you to tone it down on the gaping. Hey! hey. <laughs> Go to hell, chat. You oh. go to hell. I didn't mean that. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding. Yeah, I'm going to penalize you. Some of you. Yeah, take something oh, no. away from him. <laughs> Why can't I take uh, but he has nothing? Right? Um, Don't give me a despair chat. Come on, man. <laughs> Be cool. All right, okay. not tonight. All right, all right. All right. So I'm going to do some role playing. To sum up, not to stop this. Sharbesh ate something. Excellent. Wow. Oh. What? <laughs> something other than Flarf? No, uh, it was a Flarf bar. Uh, that she, uh, compressed flarf. Flarf yeah, it is, it is compressed flarf um, that uh, that that she purchased in a, uh, a sort of a crate. A and crate of flash bars. It's all she has time to eat because she's always going somewhere. She's always doing something. So she's she's got a she's got a she's always got at least you know four or five flarf bars uh, in her in her satchel, her lady satchel. Are they wrapped? Is somebody like uh, wrapping these and you have to peel oh, yeah. back the foil? And That's like... beautiful. Yeah, you, remember, uh, you remember Yoda um, uh, eating uh, on Dagobah? Yoda. Mm -mm. Uh, I'll keep going. I'll, I'll <laughs> ring the bell. Mine! Oh. No, he was eating flarf bars? He was eating flarf bars. <laughs> Whoa, That's nice amazing tea. that flarf is like... Night C! Night C! Thank you for a very generous First donation. I love that. You're a good so what man, you're saying is that, aside from kyber shards, this mm -hmm. planet also had a thriving trade yeah. of exporting flarf bars. Well, it seems to be a complete to the universe. Complete protein and a nutritional yeah. the so nutritional spectrum. Here on it really, it Thank literally God. has no flavor. Uh, no but it has so many calories. It has anti-flavor to it. And if yeah. you eat that and then you eat something delicious later, uh -huh. that other thing tastes worse. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, when, when you it just, when you just need calories, you get a flarf bar. If you put a flarf bar next to well, a, a chocolate bar, uh -huh. the chocolate bar starts tasting like flarf yeah. later. It's oh, that bad. Uh -huh. yep. uh, okay, so... And Char loves them. Everyone's been eating flarf. Well, that was clearly the best character establishing question I could come up with on this planet where <laughs> I established that there's only flarf. Where would, where would Char have been when uh, when Albierto was walking by? You live in the streets and the alleyways, you smugglers. <coughs> yes, uh, hang, hanging around. She's just she's always hanging around, uh, and, and so she she's one of these oh. ne'er do wells who's watching the crowd, uh, looking for uh, opportunities, uh, listening to scuttlebutt. Um, doesn't always engage, but she is constantly prowling. Uh, rarely observed, though. She's kind of a me, shadow. Can you give me like a Char style prowl? Is it kind of like a. Mm. <laughs> 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 but Char's a pretty cool customer, so Char's no, probably more of like. Yeah, a, no, she's, she's absolutely a. Uh, uh, whatever the equivalent of a cigarette in the mouth is, just kind of in, in a doorway, okay. leaning, um, legs kind of like this. Gotcha. Like not cross, but le but like sort of like this leg thrown over this leg. The ankles cross. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and with elbows. So, all elbows. So sure. So you probably heard Albierto walking through the street being like, the oh, five bars. <laughs> the I haven't been able to get my hands on those forever. I think uh, another 25 credits. And then you... Casually stepped up to that person later and give them the old I'm like. Uh, I'm so sorry. Heard you're interested in I'm... flarf bars. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna undersell Abierto. With 20, your, 
Oh my god. Get See me what? flowers. Exactly. Bugs. I got all the flavors, which is the only the one From flavor, which is no one flavor. To yeah. bar three. <laughs> right. Uh huh. How it depends you? on how anti-flavor you want your <laughs> yeah. flarf bar to be. Mm -hmm. You never want to taste anything ever again. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I got a flarf ten uh -huh. right here. So it's gonna take you a month to recover. They come in densities. God. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, we got the thick flarf bar. We got the kind of puffy one. We just want a light snack. New flarf light. You've got some flarf bars that look like they've got things in them that they're just flarf in different shapes and colors. Nuggets of flarf. Yeah. yeah. The flarf chunks. Flarf. Dinosaur shaped flarf nuggets. <laughs> For the kids. Right. Yeah, chewable flarf. Because you know what vitamins. kids growing up on, on Jetta are really into? Dinosaurs. For sure. <laughs> yes. and they're yeah. like, man, staying alive and dinosaurs. Yep. Yep. Kids yep. everywhere are into dinos. Everybody deserves a childhood, guys. Guys. So we've established that everyone ate tons and tons of flarf. You guys are probably a little bit hungry right now, maybe, because it's been. I'm not. Based on all of these accounts, other than eating, literally eating shit the other day, <laughs> you it's been about 48 constant hours of activity following the hot invasion of Jeddah. Yeah. Uh, there was all sorts of shenanigans that happened in our last episode, guys, episode 7, which you can check out either on this channel, in our archived Twitch archives, I think, right? Yeah, click on the videos tab. Do you have to subscribe to get access to all of those? No, it's no. free for everyone. Everyone can watch all the way back. We don't we don't pay wallet at any No. Oh, we got to start doing we that. We love you guys. We'll catch up on it at some point before we start pain walling these, pain walling <laughs> them. Pain yeah, we'll put up a pain wall. Right. Uh, check those out if you guys want to catch up on all this. You can also check out the podcast on. Never tell me the odds. Nope, that's not what it's called, is it? I couldn't get that one. Get the, <laughs> check out the podcast on StarWarsRPGPodcast.com or on iTunes. Uh, just look for Never Tell Me the Odds. We show up on there. It, and if you like them, leave a review or something. I mean, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, so <clears throat> those are the introductions. Uh, you can donate to influence the outcome of the game, as Nightsteed just did. Nightsteed donated 25 sweet bucks. Nightsteed! Thank you. So you guys can donate to influence the outcome of the game. There's some really cool ways you can do that. Uh, you're going to be sent a link, probably. We've got Brian in chat, who's helping you with everything you guys need. Hello. Hey. He's going to help you out. Uh, if you want to donate, he can tell you how you can do it. But you can do things like <clears throat> donate re-rolls to me, so that... Uh, when these guys swing and they kill the bad guy, I go, ah, so sorry. He I'm sorry to break the news to you, but I'm afraid that you miss. And then I make you. <laughs> oh, we're going to meet him today. All right. And you re-roll. Spoiler and then, alert. That's how you go. Uh, so donate. Uh, you can also support us on Patreon. We love it when you support us on Patreon. Uh, even a dollar a month, $12 a year, you could get that much. Yeah. Selling flarf bars. Uh, <laughs> yeah, who can't afford $12 a year, man? Come on, help us out. Some people can't, cool. but that's that's really not that much. And it does mean a huge amount to us. Um, keeps us in the flarf, keeps us in the scunch. Mm -hmm. So keeps go to patreon.com. The, the scunch must the, flow. The scunch <laughs> must flow. Yeah. Go to patreon.com slash saving throw show if you ever have an extra $12 in your pocket. If you ever skipped out on buying a Starbucks coffee one weekend, donate that at the $12 a year level. Uh, but at higher levels, you get all sorts of cool things, and we send you stuff, and you get all sorts of cool bonuses. You get you mm -hmm. enter the inner circle, and you become our real friends. Yeah. So do that. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> real access. We, we Re sell our access. real friendship. Yeah. Yep, exactly. It's like, okay, I'll accept this Facebook friend request yeah. when you're at the $5 donor level. <laughs> uh, totally, and at that point, I think they become... America's fans? It's really what? <laughs> they must. They're okay. no longer garbage people? That's right. too much. That's too much. But have never been garbage people to me. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well you weren't here early on, so I, I just re I respect and love them too much. <laughs> but, it's really nice of you, Tom. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I have that's why I play with the Beth Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> along, the, along the lines of donating, I actually want to do something special tonight. I know you guys always donate and you're always awesome. Uh, today, today, the actual day today, this very moment, is the 40th anniversary of Star Wars. Woo! Wow! Did you guys know that? Literally, if we could rewind time 40 years from today, 8 p.m. Pacific time, we could be standing in line at a movie theater or just like just leaving a movie theater having seen Star Wars yeah. the very we, first time it's ever played on the planet Earth. Man's Chinese theater, right? Like half a mile away from here, mm -hmm. man. Oh my God, let's go now. Yeah, all right? Peace! Bye! Well, I want to, obviously, Star Wars is life, right, in a way? Life, yeah. 
Yeah, and the Force is with us, and I'm with the Force, and all that. I just killed a fly Ooh. to prove that. Um, but I want to do something kind of special since I'm all about the Star Wars. These are, and we have one in the dice tray if we can cut to it. Uh, these are rad trooper uh, stickers. These stick on anything you guys want. They're nice, high quality stickers. They say rad troopers uh, for reasons I'm not going to get into now, but they also just look great. That is a design by a fan of ours, JJ Artist, who's awesome. Anybody who donates tonight or subscribes to our channel is going to be sent one of these personally in the mail by me. Wait, along. everybody? Anybody who donates or subscribes tonight will receive a Rad Trooper sticker for free. I will mail it to you myself with a little personalized note. So already, Christian Lindke and Mr. Troy D. Mm -hmm. yeah, will be the correct. recipients of, uh, or does it start from here forward? No, I'll, I'll definitely do that. Wow. Uh, for sure. Let's go back into it. Uh, so yeah, so anybody who does that, I will I will send these out while supplies last. I don't actually have an infinite number, but I have a fair. I've got a little stack here. So while supplies last, so if you want one of these, think about it and re uh, subscribe or donate, and we will send you uh, some stuff. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Because forty, you get excited. You get excited because it's the fortieth anniversary. Mm. Um, one Good one challenge. small note, if I may, channel note. There is a sale going on uh, at uh, uh, oh god. T Fury. T, T Fury. No, it's one of the. It's one of these T-shirt companies. Um, that is a T-shirt company. T anyway, is. sorry, I I, I, I just I just remember this. Um, uh, there's a sale going on at. I'm glad you're prepared. No, I know. I'm doing it. I'm sorry, guys. Just, um, nope. Unlock your phone. Put in the code. Tpublic.com. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, is having a sale of uh, of saving throw shirts. You can buy our merchandise. You can buy a mug. You can buy a sticker. And they're having a sale all weekend. I personally bought two shirts, one for my son and one for me. You should do the same thing. They're awesome. They look good. Uh, you can get, like, they're, they're comfortable. Uh, and you can support the channel. And you're supporting us by doing it. So it is tpublic.com. Search for Saving Throw, and you'll see our fat little logo there. Saving Throw or Saving Throw Show? Uh, saving, well, just search for Saving Throw. If you need to search for Saving Throw Show, that's fine, too. I'd give the URL, but it's kind of awkward. Um, so just go there. It's in chat. Oh, pick up everything you got. Thank you, Brad. You guys are great. <clears throat> Look what we have. It was dumb. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course thank, it was. Thank you, Dom. Thank you, Dom. Did I do good, Dom? No, I didn't. Nope. Aww. I'm always bad. bad always Oops, bad. Oops, Tyler. Oops. GM. <laughs> All, right, All right, guys. So moving moving along, uh, I think we just got to get into this here. Um, remember, you guys all have lightsabers. You all have force powers. Why? Crazy. the force has awakened. Mm. What? <laughs> it absolutely has. No, something, a, a strange wind blows through the galaxy at this moment. The Force, being desperate, has landed upon us. <laughs> uh, you know, that there's something to that. You guys, you guys it's are... settling, for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. As the dust settles across Jeddah, as the population, the remaining scavengers who have survived, have been gassed and enslaved into submission by the Huts. you guys, in a way, are kind of the last scions of Jeddah. Once the very heart of the Force, in a way, right, mm -hmm. and the teachings of the Jedi, now forgotten, now lost for all intents and purposes. And it seems to have settled upon you three miscreants to carry that torch. Worthy or unworthy, time will tell. But you have lightsabers and force powers and no training, no real moral guide. So you guys all have force powers. Uh, we'll get into the mechanics of that as we go. Keep in mind I will be handing out conflict points as you guys do things that maybe tend towards the dark side. But that's cool. <coughs> Nothing wrong with going a little bit dark. While you're looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> How many conflict points do you have, Tyler? A couple. Two, three, eight. A few fuse. Yeah. You guys also have bonds with each other's characters. So I'm going to go into these in one second here. But first, let me park the vet. Oh, we just have an awesome donation from Mr. Troy D. Thank you. Hey, hey Troy. Mr. Troy D. Man. You're definitely getting a, uh, a sticker here. Guys, uh, if you do <laughs> donate or, uh, or subscribe, whisper your address to us. Make sure you do that so we have your address so we can actually send these out to you. And show mm -hmm. up at your house. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we could go to Troy D's house, couldn't we? We could get We it. could swing by there afterwards. Yeah. You deliver in person, surely. Yeah. <laughs> is that a threat? Yeah, it kind of is. I know. Awesome. Okay. Troy's a good looking guy. I okay. gotta admit that. That's oh, not my, weird, is it? Oh, my holy shit. We got a lot back up. Really is. We handsome. do have a lot back up. Sorry, guys, I was doing all the intro stuff. Let's get to these awesome donations before I part the veil of reality. Christian Linky gives a re roll. Oh, my. Why am I even opening that up? To Tilene. What? Hey. Thank you, I mean, sir. Great. To Tea Leaf. Uh, Did you just call me Tea Leaf? <laughs> yeah, Tea Leaf. Tea Leaf? I thought you called me Tea Leaf. Yeah, I kind of like riffed off of Tea Leaf. Oh. 
I thought, tea leaves. Tea leaves. I guess the, the name thing is spreading. I yeah. thought it was like your thing. Their thing. Yeah, is it your thing? Is it their thing? The wrong name thing. Oh, up to it, Tyler. Oh, wrong name game. Mm -hmm. yeah, wrong right. name game. I'm in. Night Steve tea leaf. activates uh, pack table rerolls. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Which I believe means three. Yeah. So we've got three rerolls on the table. Oh. I really feel that I, mm. as the DM, should be included in the table. No. <laughs> nope. Well, I'm going to keep the campaign for that here. I, I really feel you that. You can ask uh, all you also, want. The Night Seed also heals Tavia and Char <gasps> for five each. So Whoa, oh, my God, I needed that. You guys That's seriously important. need that because uh, you guys are <laughs> currently in a hangar that a APC, an armored personnel carrier, has just smashed through the Wait. wall. That's right. Oh, yeah. And troops are bursting through this gap, yeah. screaming guns out. So we're going to get to that in one moment. Goal one is unlocked by your guys' many excellent donations. Woo! This is... Oh, you want, baby? A New Hope. Uh-oh. Yes. So, uh, I don't know what the other are going to be. Because there's a New Hope... Uh, oh, well, for, we have to determine how many light side and dark side points we get on the table. Let's do that real quick. Dang One it. dark side point. Yes. No! Two dark side oh. points. No! Oh. You're there we go. Bring in balance. Come on, you. Yes. It's all about balance. Oh, I'm man. sorry. I'm sorry. That's, that's, I had it. Too. It's almost like you did it on yep. purpose. Get that thing back there so everyone can see how beautifully I threw it. Boom. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Wow. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for helping us. I'm glad because it bounced. I got to read all that one. <laughs> Okay, curses. So we've got two dark side to four light side points. These are the points that you guys use to, uh, it represents kind of your destiny tapping into the light side of the force, which is what you guys do to improve your dice rolls or to interject your packs into the narrative. Alternatively, I can spend dark side points to ruin your days. So we'll see some of that as we go through. Guys, because the force, or sorry, because it's been a new hope, add one more light side point. Thank you guys for this communal donation. Woo! Also, everybody gets a boost die that they can spend what? on their next Snaps. roll. Booyah. Or actually, just kind of whatever you want. I'm going to represent it. Do and I have crystal. a triumph from a last time. A you have a triumph from last Kyber time. Kyber crystals. Tlene. Also, Mr. Troy D activates a triumph for Talene. Whoa! Hi. You have two triumphs. I'm feeling well. triumphant. What? Thank you, Mr. Troy D. I hate I'm going to need this. <laughs> <laughs> right. Take this golden bar to represent your triumph. I have two times now. Well, I don't think we've got There's that only many one golden bar. It's got to be. I know that that's two. I think there's, are there bars in this bowl? Bar, bar, bar. Large bars. 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 I don't think so. I'll just take these two here. instead. I can dig. I'll put this bar over no, here. No, it's okay, guys. You can sew. Russell, 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 Russell. We'll guys. put it back in there. It's okay. That's not the most important part of the game. <laughs> Isn't it? Guys. I hate you all so much. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to That's part fun. the veil. Bastard. Troy, we had uh, re-rolls for me. <laughs> no, me. me. I'm nothing without them. It's a blast with me. You're America's GM without them. Oh. Allow me to part the blast doors of reality. Yes. <laughs> 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 shooting into the room. Always seen. Yes. Get it out of the way. Bat it aside, much as we bat aside the flimsy gong, which <laughs> makes up our day-to-day -day lives. What is this nonsense? This illusion? Mere hallucinations that, that dissipate in front of our eyes as we settle into this, gosh, adobe hangar located just beneath this bowl of pretzels here <laughs> in the Temple District of the town of Gano Hill, the last settlement on Jeddah with anybody living in it, mostly ruins. The last of the toxic blue gas that the huts had um, bombarded the streets with, dissipating in tendrils around your feet as an armored personnel carrier smashes through the wall, mm. letting in the light, uh, the fresh um, breath of air that comes in kind of makes you for a second realize how heavy the air was with incense that your nose had become numbed to. You can smell it. In this, this, this hangar, part of a temple, sits a spaceship. The last spaceship on Jeddah, really. Personal, private property of the Church of the Central Eye Softer, a group of weird death-worshipping cultists. <laughs> they actually seem to be okay guys. guys. They're certainly led by an abbot, voiced by 
Gomer Pyle. Because this is, of course, Star Wars, and Star Wars is movies, and movies has actors, and we roll randomly. We'll get into more of that later. <laughs> well, hey, hey, look, hey, Andy, we gotta get out of here. He says, turning towards you guys. Uh, he's dressed all in red. If you guys don't have time to Google the Church of the Central Ice Softer, they have a head covering mask. It's all red. This guy's is all red. Everyone else's is yellow that kind of swirls into a single, um, it's like a bar or something like that that you can look through. And they tend to be wrapped in this cocoon-like rubber sort of wrapping. Uh, his is, again, blood red. Yo, no! We really gotta get out of here! He says, hurry! On to our ship! Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's just go. Let's I get agree. on this ship. Thick tapestry-style rugs. What do you call that? Like a uh, Persian-style rugs. Mm -hmm. Uh, cover the floors here in this big space. Uh, candles are stuck in the corners, providing some light. <coughs> Perfect. The Church of the Central Eye Softer, right there. The uh, the abbot rushes on board this ship, this weird hybrid style ship that you guys have never really seen before. You guys follow him on. And this is where we pick up as you guys go running up onto the ship. Of course, with your good friend Hildy. Mm hmm. Not currently present. Andrew cannot make it tonight, which is unfortunate, but he should be back in the future. Uh, and, of course, followed by the elderly, somewhat elderly, emaciated, right. ah, ah, oh, kind yeah, of okay. not all there hut. Uh -huh. It's like a skinny, gaunt hut who weird stuff had been happening to him in this town for a long time, and he's totally lost his senses. Ah, what? Come on, board the okay. And he just follows you guys forward. <laughs> So uh, as the door is shutting behind you, <laughs> lights kind of come on on this ship here and there, and, and your eyes adjust to the dimness. Uh, also candles in here. Candles over the place. Mm. Little met metallic, multi-sided uh, sensors, you know, like you would burn um, incense in. Hang from the ceiling here and there. It, it's almost choking. The, the smell in here. And again, more of these carpets on the ground, the little throw pillows you guys can sit on. Um, there's like a, one of those like steaming bowls sitting in one corner. This ship has been converted to, this ship's been converted to deep metaphysical vibes, says the abbot. <laughs> now who, who's gonna help me fly on out of here? <laughs> I mean, he runs into the cockpit. What the rest of you guys do? I've never been on a spaceship run. before. He <laughs> strides in a stately manner into the center of. The I room. have been on spaceships. That's how I got here. Uh, my right. piloting is three green. Anyone? Mine's only two green. I probably am three. I just repair them. I don't fly them. Um, yeah, I'm also three green, but I, I this is terrifying. Okay. <laughs> I was on a ship once as a passenger. <laughs> I watched what they did. <laughs> this should be fine. Well, hurry up, go pilot. Get on into the seat, says Gomer Pyle. I like this seat. It's comfortable and it's got belts. Great. Um, Safety. Is there a gunnery station on this ship? There absolutely is a gunnery station <laughs> on this ship. So the, this ship, like, again, I, like I said a second ago, it's kind of a weird hybrid ship. The front of it's kind of arrowhead shaped, and then the back is a bit ungainly and it has this big dome on top like an observation dome mm. and there's like pods underneath it. it it's all some sort of strange about the size of a millennium falcon but but narrower mm. okay. so there is gunnery stations uh mm. my, little thing over here. <laughs> <laughs> my little madonna mic on that's great there's uh, probably a secondary gunnery station as well if you want to do that otherwise yeah. um there are engineering stations and things like that oh, computers yeah. i want to go fix stuff. Stuff. i could do that gotta remember to not get coffee stations. though it's great important <laughs> Don't get caught. Do you say that to them over the... <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, you haven't done anything yet. No, j j but just in the future, or you don't want to be cocky when you're shooting guns. The hut is like... Uh, uh, Sit. Yeah. yeah, okay. He says, and he starts <laughs> like flops painfully off into the darkness of the ship somewhere in the back because it's lit mostly by candles inside. Sure, mm. sure. Mm -hmm. It's like little like um, strung up like Christmas lights for the lighting mm. in other places. Very nice. Really white, um, white Christmas lights. It really, really emphasizing like the um, the atmosphere of the spaceship yeah. over its utility. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's promising. And Hildy goes, oh, wait a minute, everyone. I think I <laughs> smell something back here. And she strolls on into the gallery. Uh, and then you hear bottles getting uncorked. So, okay. Oh. You've got bottles? <laughs> bottles left. Uh, yeah, that's all you guys hear for now. Uh, can uh, someone... 
Service to the pilot. So you're in a gunnery chair. You're sitting in the co-pilot seat. Is it the co-pilot seat or the pilot seat? Uh, the Abbott's in the pilot seat. Oh, okay, good. Well, technically, we're both. <laughs> There's accents all over the place. <laughs> Shazam. Okay, we're both going to pilot? All right, Technically, that's good. we're both equal partners. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be good for everyone. It's more everyone. of a co-ownership situation. Just two co-pilots. Two nice. co-pilots. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys, through the perfect. front, as you, guys, as you settle in, um, so it's just kind of like the uh, canopy slants down overhead. So you've got a bunch of visibility around you. And then the like, control panel here, just countless buttons and everything like that. Nice. There's lots of buttons. And out in front, you can see mm, havoc, certainly. Uh, oh, also, the first thing Nabbit does is reach over and turn on the... Music? Oh, well, of course, we got to take off, don't we? Hurry! He says he quickly swivels his chair and like taps a chime. Yeah, yeah. Puts on gets some over, Like picks up like a, a, a little meditation bowl and starts. <laughs> picks up like a didgeridoo. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. oh no. Yeah. It's important. Is this, uh, can people hear this? Is this about loud enough? I won't touch it at all. Great. Mm. And of course, outside, as you guys can see through the canopy, armored personnel carrier <laughs> finishes coming over the rubble of the wall to smash through. Clang! Door opens up, and armed hut mercenaries come charging out. Ooh, uh, they're already them? firing their lasers all over the place. Can I say Private Ryan them? What does that mean? <laughs> Shoot the entryway as they're pouring out. Wow. It's like that opening scene of Saving Private Ryan. Oh, like when they're getting off the... Uh, yes, like, they all go out and they're like... <laughs> it's like the armored vehicle came in. Yes, Over they... the side! <laughs> anyway, love that movie. You can just barely hear... <laughs> barely hear the sound of the gunfire outside as about <laughs> half a dozen armed hut mercenaries come rushing out and the laser bolts are shooting all around at the rest of the priests. This church of the central ice hopper. Oh, they're shooting, shooting at us! <laughs> They all sound like overpowered. Yeah. No, the, guys on, the guys on the ground all just do the standard thing, which is they turn and go. Oh, that's right. That's right. And then, uh, uh, finally, stepping out of the back of the APC, Trend Ocean. You guys know Trend Ocean? Oh, yeah. Lizard type guys covered in scales, like Bosk. We know who Bosk is. Covered in scales, big lizardy muzzle. With him, Big ass, low slung, repeating blast rifle. That's him right now. Ooh. Oh gosh. <laughs> so, like, uh, is there any way yeah, I can right? speed up this launch? Oh yeah, come on, let's let's operate the yeah. <laughs> make some make some launching sounds for me. <laughs> 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 oh, it looks exactly like that. Click 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 click. The ship. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. You the guys. ship starts I to can take tell off. By watching you. <laughs> You're doing a good job. <laughs> Oh my god. Where, where's my peace pop? Hurry! <laughs> That's where co-pilot. He's working out. Yeah, the ship starts to lift off and take off. You get your uh, gunnery turret coming around. Mm -hmm. You're, are you aiming at someone? Mm -hmm. uh, and we have to get to you too, don't we? Oh, yeah, okay. I'm aiming at the APC, at the entry of the APC. Okay. I'm uh, trying to catch them as they're pouring out. But. You, you see actually inside the APC. You should give me a perception check. One purple. One purple. Oh my gosh, you are giving us all of the monsters. Matt? Trying to help. Oh, Tell the, the Bard story. 1971 donated. Thank you so much, the Bard. Uh, gives one boost to Talene. Oh, thank you very much. Right. I'm going to clearly need it. I'm very perceptive. Oh, you are. Nice. Actually. All right. Uh, with, with an advantage. Four hits and an advantage. No, three Sweet. hits and an advantage. Wow. You notice inside of the APC there are still um, the bound and unconscious bodies. The bound and unconscious <laughs> bodies of numerous, uh, of townsfolk. Not numerous, but they've got like another half dozen unconscious townsfolk inside. Basically mm. switching, like <laughs> yeah. there's a set of switches that I don't really know what they do, so I flip them all on, <laughs> and I flip them all off, uh -huh. and then I flip some of them on. And it's more it's of them. the trial and error style of <laughs> flying through space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I flip some of them off. Did we die yet? <laughs> no. Uh, uh, uh. More? Take some more buttons? That sounded bad. Well, yep. yeah, turn those off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you, so you, okay. inside the APC, there are innocents who are unconscious. Got it. So blowing up the APC, probably not uh, uh, 
a, a really great idea. You also you had a huge success on that. You also see flopping around in there a hut. The oh. same hut you guys saw last time who seemed to be commanding ground forces inside of Jeddah. A younger looking hut. He's mm -hmm. like about half the girth and size of, of Jabba. He still flop pretty well under his own power. Ooh. Okay. If he could blow a lot of horrible that pimples all over his face. Hut into He's got like the tank commander little helmet <laughs> on, on his big giant uh -huh. hut head, like the padded one, like a leather neck. <laughs> Yeah, well, I could shoot to piece in his ear. perhaps shoot to disable. <laughs> um, I will perhaps shoot to disable the APC. Uh, uh, take out the tracks. Nice. Uh, but don't hit the uh, the juicy bits. Okay, fire that sucker up. <laughs> All right. Um, the big trend ocean guys who stepped out in front is aiming. You can see him down below, like bring the gun up and like the the barrel starts spinning up the speed and then. <laughs> <laughs> and he's strafing your guys' engines in the back. I see a big button that says launch on it. <laughs> you guys, so you're lifting up and the engines are... So you probably are, you're, so you're kind of engineering this mm -hmm. situation here? Yeah. Great. Uh, Jordy LaForging? Mm -hmm. Jordy LaForging it. That's Star Wars, right? <laughs> I love it. I'm just taken Basically. by my music choices right now. <laughs> I really like the haunting uh, mm -hmm. hype music over the explosion. As you get into the back there, yes, you're like, okay, no problem, I can do this. Uh, and there's the reactor, and there's some of the important components you realize, but then there's like some dream catchers hanging in the way of important things. Uh, there's a big sand mandala that like is in, like on the ground right in front of the reactor that's like maybe you knowing people. You delicately tap out sand and you form this about six feet across, mm. right in front of the reactor. But it's laid out in a way that kind of looks like the internal schematics of the reactor. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as you get back there, you're like, huh? And then there's sparks go and shoot out the um, upper rear part of the reactor as, thank you, we have- I just uh, hit a switch. Did something happen back there? <laughs> you, did you touch a thing? Did you I touch, touch the thing? Could have been you. okay? Could have been my. Uh, could have been the guy strafing your engines. Oh, good. Uh, since you're on engineering, can you grab? <laughs> I'm a, good. Can you grab a D hundred for me, please? Click, uh, click. Okay. Button, just, button. Just one. Yeah. So this is a critical hit. Your ship takes immediately. What? Oh boy. Yeah. You guys, in fact, as long as this guy continues to strafe <clears throat> your engines, you're gonna take guys. another right, critical right. hit every round. Oh. I should probably Kedanus take him out then. has donated a boost for each player. Woohoo! Hey, thank you. Kiganis. What a Thank gentleman. Kiganis is giver. He is. Oh, good. Nice. Oh, good. A four. Nice. A zero four? Yeah. Mechanical stress. Great. The ship suffers one point of system strain. I'm going to make a note of that. Um, but yeah, just spark shoot out. Really not a big problem. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but you see that guy down below, he's going to continue to deal critical hits. And just like a person taking critical hits, each additional ship your critical hit takes adds 10 to that roll. But you know what should happen, though, is I should launch this ship. <laughs> You hit the launch button. I hit the launch button. Do yeah, I need to roll? <laughs> well, before you roll, <laughs> you're kind of up off the ground and you're just holding there. Why and would I do that? Quite, That's silly. You're, you're hitting the launch button, but it, and the, you hear the engines keep going. <laughs> oh, you can't. <laughs> Shazam! <laughs> you can't launch the dang ship yet. <laughs> Look, uh, the extent. Our, our, our ego extinction meter is only at 10%. Someone here fears death. Oh, no. What Coop. Is oh, it's you, isn't it? There's the co-pilot. <laughs> Look into my eyes, he says, pivoting towards you. Extend both palms upwards. Whoa. And it's, not, yeah, uh -huh. The only way to make one of our ships fly is on metaphysical properties. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I need more scrunch. <laughs> scrunch, I need more scrunch. Hildy hey, comes Hildy! Uh, she comes, she comes. Womp, her body falls out of the back, uh, unconscious, as I don't know what Hildy, we never really got into what Hildy's into, but clearly there's she a... She found it back there, though. <laughs> it was there. Some bad stuff. Blackout catatonic done. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if she maybe she has a needle sticking out of her arm. That's possible. Right, they've oh, got to have that back there. Whatever they had, they had clearly. Yeah, we had some dealings with those drug running Arcona too. So, huh, hey, she probably ain't dead. Okay. <laughs> Look, the only thing you have to do in order to operate this ship, we have to get the prayer flags up to full speed, and we gotta get those prayer wheels spinning. <laughs> the only way to do that yeah. is to make sure you don't fear death. I, 
plunge into what your ego. You hitting them so they spin. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're like, you know, spindles with the prayer wheels on and stuff like that. Little prayer flags aren't even deployed oh, yet. Yeah, All right, come okay, on. Do you, do? do you okay. fear death? No, not really. No, I'm not. When I've had enough to drink, I'm not afraid of anything. It's not quite. Well, oh, I need more to drink. That's masking your true feelings. All right, well, we're really going to have to get into it. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Did gunnery. he shoot? All right. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so we are, he, he's serious. He, he's really going to have to get into you fearing. You're going to have to ascend your mortal coil. Okay. <laughs> so this is a target-rich environment. Yes, absolutely. So you said you were targeting the APC's tracks. Yes, I did. And I, and I will stick by that since that was my declared action. Um, so yes, I'm going to disable, I'm going to shoot to disable the APC. Chat has also unlocked tier two oh, of our cumulative Nelly. goals. So if you guys are new, we have uh, goals that are tiered that every donation anybody makes pushes us up towards the next level. We have just unlocked The Force Awakens. What? Wow, the second movie, nice. I know, hey, the second movie. <laughs> I don't know. God. I know, I've never seen Star Wars. <laughs> so we're gonna roll a Force Dive. That's how this is gonna work. It's possible that the light side's gonna awaken here, it's possible the dark side's gonna awaken. Oh no. If you guys roll up, I don't know who you. I don't want to be responsible. Kelsey for this. is the only good person at this table. Before you roll that. <laughs> Wait, you're a real person? Yeah. Before you roll that, if Trust you come me. up with a single light side point, there's just going to be a free floating force die out on the table, which is anytime you guys use one of your force powers, you can add that to your roll. Normally you'd only get a roll one, you can roll two instead. After you use it, it, after you use it, it uses it up. If you roll two light side points, there are two force die rolling out there. So you, you could use both of them, and you could have a super powered up force roll or not. Finally, if you're all dark side point, the dark side has strengthened, and basically I'm gonna drop despair kind of into the game. Uh, and if double dark side, it's even worse. So, all right, all right. you feel good about this? We'll see. Okay, I'm just around. not even gonna look. Hey! Yay! Yay! You were right. tough. She is pure. She is pure. <laughs> pure she is the one good person in this room. Double Sorry, Brian. light side points. Okay, so that means, um, let's hear, does someone, do we have an additional force die that's out there? Oh, it's right there behind Great. those chips. Let's go ahead and put those somewhere where we're going to remember them. So whenever you guys roll, the, use the force. Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> whenever you guys use the force, normally you roll <laughs> one force die. The force is with us. You yeah. gain a second force die essentially when you've reached like Jedi master level. You can start rolling two force die on things, and by the time you get three force die, you're kind of like super high level scary Jedi. Mm. Right, like Jedi, or like more like Jedi Knight, Jedi Master. Anyway, basically, if you guys want to roll three, four, <coughs> die on your roll instead of one, you can do that right now. So Kay. use them wisely. You lucky bastards, <laughs> <laughs> sir. You uh, target the APC. You were saying something, mm. Char. What's up? Uh, no, that, I mean that was essentially it. Is that, is that uh, I, it, there's a lot of targets here. I probably should be shooting the guy who's shooting our ship, but I want to save the people of Jeddah from bondage. And the best way to do that is to, exactly, uh, uh -huh. uh, disable this APC. This is, again, all the noise coming outside as you see the, the hut mercenaries running around, shooting at all of the other, you know, and then inside, of course, the very soothing tones. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Great. Mm -hmm. uh, as you squeeze, as you line this thing up dead in your sights and squeeze the trigger, nothing. That, that was gunfire right on your canopy window. Wow. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, so there's obviously a button I need to hit. Um, <laughs> well, what are you guys? Shazam! What are you guys doing down there? I'm trying to get the gun working. Well, the only way to get the gun working is through harmonic resonances. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! You have to harmonize. I want to apologize to everyone for thinking that this spaceship works. <laughs> you have to harmonize with the only other with the other gunner in order to make any uh well. Sonic attacks happen. We only have one gunner. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. I'm kidding. <laughs> it fell down a thing and I hit my head. Says the voice of the elderly, confused, <laughs> demented hut. Oh, no, no, I got it. I got it. He's got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> The hut totally comes up with an angelic tone out of his normal grunt. Oh my gosh, of course. Ch matching with Char pretty well. Mm -hmm. pretty I was doing well. thirds, so if that's, you know, mm. if that helps. Not bad. <laughs> it helps a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to call your difficulty on this shot because I wasn't totally feeling that harmony. Three perfect. Oh! oh. All right. 
three perps. Three perps. And so then I get, uh, I do get a force die with any roll. Or? Well, what is your force power? Well, my force power is. Um, uh, uh, I'll tell you. It is uh, enhance, I believe. Yes, enhance. That's what it is. God. That is. Jeez. That's that would work in this case. Okay. Your enhance power actually would apply to you. Well, no, enhance is more physical, really. Yeah. It would be holding but your like breath. Like his eyes faster. look real good. Like he sees real good. I think that's a little more like. <laughs> his, his hands are real steady. That's yeah. a little more like your seek power. Yeah. That uh, that that uh, seek tin is what has. would help. Yeah. Seek or sense would be more like. Targeting things really well mm. for you, that'd be more like running fast, jumping high, right, right, being tough, hitting hard, mm -hmm. shooting these buttons with the squeezy squeeze, not squeeze, so yeah. yeah. This singing is, this is really not such clearly. a physical oh. singing really clearly. <laughs> yes, if you want to roll four die to enhance your singing, I will reduce your difficulty by one purple. Okay, uh, wait, hold if you on. get at least one force point, which you're guaranteed to. So this is this is after, yeah, because my singing was not so great. I thought it was nice. I don't know about you guys at home. <laughs> Uh, it was nice, it just wasn't quite a harmony. Yeah. Well, you... I know. Oh, you're going to have to match with a deranged hut. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> I have a musical theater degree. Kelsey Kelsey could have been the one <laughs> in the other gunnery thing. Yeah. Could have been. Yeah, I don't know. No, no worry about it. Kelsey's got some velvet, velvet uh, pipes. I sing like an angel. <laughs> Pure of heart <laughs> and sings like an angel? Yeah. So are you going to roll What's four styles? What's happening here? Um, you naturally get one. So to remind everybody yeah. at home, a uh, little bit different from the regular force rules, uh, you can, when you use a force die, you're automatically going to be successful. You might be using the light side, or you might be using the dark side if a dark side point comes up. Right. If that happens, if it's a dark side, you're automatically going to take some conflict points, which puts you a little closer. Got it. Okay. Well, yeah, I will. I will use just one force die. That's okay. So you're not touching the two you have on the table. Right, so because that one I get automatically without having to tap into my force powers, That's right? That's exactly because right. Because I feel like this is sort of an affront to the force, just pulling a trigger. I mean, you know, uh, uh, I used to shoot womp rats. Uh, <laughs> you were. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I've never shot a womp rat in my life. Uh, so I'm just going to take the one that is given to me. Uh, but I will also. Um, uh, oh, wait, sorry, that's right, because I yeah. did this little maneuver oh, right here. Wow. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, to, to give myself a bit of a bit of uh, zhuzh. Is that a thing? Mm -hmm. Yes, the right. zhuzh. A little zhuzh. Uh, so yeah, shall I roll? Or I are you think you do should some, roll. No, I've got nothing. Nothing. Some grossness against say. me. All right, cool. Here we go. Uh, so this is the the disable the the APC shot. Double light sight. So go ahead and take out uh, one of those difficulty. Doesn't even matter. Yeah, yeah, take out the one no with misses. the two threat Let's on it. Just take okay. that one out. Take that one out. All right, cool. So it is two threat and four hits. It is Sorry, two advantage. Two advantage. And four hits. Mm -hmm. Wow. She, she is hot tonight. And as you hit it, uh, the, the gun oh. underneath, which you guys can't really see from inside, is like a giant Japanese style brass bell, but pointing outwards and mounted like a gun. A gong, right? Gong is like a, a flat. Like a giant symbol. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you know, like the the Asian style bells that don't have a clapper inside. You hit them from the outside with like oh, a big yeah. wow. Okay, like yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So and also he manages to hit that harmonic perfectly. So like. Turns out you did hit it perfectly with through the power of your so. force. Yeah. That that beautiful harmonic is amplified through this massive mm -hmm. ancient bell. It's got all sorts of beautiful ancient inscriptions. There's a nice patina. Comes. That's amazing. And you, in front of the ship, you just see the air ripple as pure sonic energy rolls out of it, yeah. hits the side of the APC, <laughs> it like rocks up on its side. Nice. Gosh, you were trying to disable it? Yes. I think it rocked it all the way up on its nice. side. <laughs> so yeah. Like the track spinning a little bit. Nice. Um, you see the hut just for a second going, and like, <laughs> hurled and like, whacking against the, uh, the ceiling, and then you lose sight of them. All right. Yeah, pretty well shut down. Acted, acted you. Kelsey. Well, I don't know. Let's see. There uh, are some sparks shooting out of the ship. Yeah. Uh, you could do something with that. Uh, all sorts of ship things you could do. The ship so currently now, is just kind of like hovering, floating up a little bit. Around. Can you make it, it not run on spiritual things? <laughs> yeah. What does it mean to reduce system strain of a starship? Uh, so just like you guys have a strain threshold, so do your ships. Okay. If that hits zero, it's like the systems all fry out and you're dead in the water. 
Um, so currently, the ship has taken a little bit of strain from this guy blowing up the engines as hard as he can. The mo is that kind of like what those sparks were? Is it exactly? So that there's like strain? a conduit that's still sparking up there. So if you want okay. to do something with that, because I have fine tuning. <clears throat> So when reducing the amount of system strain of a starship or vehicle, reduce one additional strain per rank of fine tuning. Which I only have one rank of fine tuning, so we'll just do the one. But okay. I get an additional strain reduced if I make a successful fine tuning check. Is that? Uh huh. Okay. Uh, does it say you I need to make a check? This up. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I guess it doesn't say a check. Is that just a skill that I have then? It might just be a skill. Tree? Okay. Yeah, it sounds like you can just... It's just like a little bonus <coughs> thing that I get to do. Yeah, that's kind of what it sounds like to okay. me. So uh, you can kind of just reduce strain. Uh, yes, if you wanted to do something to try and improve uh, Making a, like, the doctor's odds of getting this thing actually out of there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the space doctor needs to be in space. <laughs> So I can doctor better. <laughs> yeah, you're not doctoring very good. Um, okay, so uh, you're just trying to do a mechanics check? To yeah, repair? To, okay. to repair and then... I will take mechanics check. That sounds right. perfect. Uh, it hasn't taken much damage, so it's just one purple right now. Okay. Oh, you're going to crush this, aren't you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Crush it hard. Yeah. Crush it with all the... Okay. All, yeah. All right. all right, so two successes, one advantage. A gentle yeah, yes. crushing. Yeah. So Gently you crushed. get in there. Uh, so this ship, a schmush maybe. I'll tell you what the strain threshold is on this thing anyway. Uh, you basically negate all of the strain it had going on with it. Very nice. Very nice. Perfect. Very good. Yes. Very good for you. Mm, excuse me. Mechanical stress. Oh, it was. Uh, yeah, set the one point system strain. Great. Okay. Great. Uh, I have a. Can you give me the boost I gave you back? There was a quick correction. Mm -hmm. Giganis did not give you a boost. Oh, that's okay. Aww. He gave you a triumph. Whoa! Oh, snap sickles. Right, now you can use that. Triumph. One. Snap sickles, Who gets indeed. The fancy bar. I don't need <laughs> one fancy bar when I've got two triumph eyes. My goodness. Great. There's so much triumph at the table. <coughs> I'm fine. <laughs> there is triumph. another small explosion just as you like, get ah! in there and like adjust the thing. Dang it! Oh, I should have made that more difficult. Uh, fuck it. It's fine. You're great. You're great at this. Um, Flip well, one over. That? Oh yeah, right. Once again, I oh, almost oh, sounded like oh. I almost swore when I actually said flarf it. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Check the tape, guys. Check that tape. That's definitely what I said. Uh, of course, this being Star Wars, nobody swears in Star Wars. We all have interesting Much. things we say instead of swearing. But if you did accidentally swear, we would penalize you by switching a light side point to a dark side point. Flarf nuggets. Flarf nuggets. I'm gonna say that in life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kelsey, yeah. Can, can go ahead and roll a 2d10 for me again okay. as this Trendosian continues to unload into your engine from the outside as your ship continues to kind of like just fly around in a little wavy circle about 10 feet off the ground. Oh my god. That's a 90. <laughs> Wait, I did not get a chance to come to, to, to terms with death so we can leave. We We're gonna, gonna give it to you in one second. Maybe. Plus 10 because you already had one. Oh, so oh. just straight up down all the way to 100. And just up to 100. Something. 100 flat. Uh, I love it. Okay, shield overloads the ship. Shields completely fails. Decrease the defense of all defense zones to zero. This critical hit cannot be repaired until the end of the encounter. And the ship suffers two points of system strain immediately. Oh, wow. If the ship or vehicle is without defense, which it currently is, reduce armor by one until the critical hit is repaired. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> Do we want to reroll that? Can we? We can. Use a reroll? If you want to use one of your three rerolls to reroll that, yeah. So our ship's not blown to smithereens before yes. we're even okay. at the okay, gate. Okay, so there's this massive, like, like you fix that one, you're like, yes, and then every other circuit goes. <laughs> <laughs> at the oh, same it. time. What was that? I'm taking your reroll. We've got to say something when we roll our rerolls. Guys, whoever the next person to subscribe is can tell us what our cheers was going to be when we reroll. Right. Until but we then, also get to say, re, 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 re roll. Re -roll. Okay. Mm. 26. All right, you mean more like a 36. Yeah, I do. Great. A, the particularly strong blast uh, of that sends the ship careening <laughs> off in a new direction. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. We're not, no. On it, their next turn, the pilot cannot good. make any maneuvers. They must make a piloting check to regain control. Uh-oh. I still haven't even come to terms with death. <laughs> 
So ah! the ship, you guys all do the. Can we get a Star Trek? Yeah, can we get a Star Trek style okay. bump? Let's go to the direction. Ready? Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Perfectly done. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> executed like no other. The Riker lane. And back the other direction. Whoa! Whoa! As your ship <laughs> slams into the wall. <laughs> sorry, Bar- sorry, Brian. <laughs> we got him. We all screamed at the same time. <laughs> As you guys hit the wall of the hangar, there's not that much room to fly around in here. I'm going to need a piloting check from you. All righty. Here it is. I'm ready. How many, how many perps? Two perps. Two perps. Two perps. That's it. I'm going to upgrade. What are your these. three green into a yellow? Oh, Sounds like that. a good idea. And I'm going to use a boost. Nice. Oh, you got some. Boost Why not? It. Boost. Show boost, boost to me. Oh. Ouch. Okay. That's unfortunate. Ouch. You failed. I have this reroll though. Ah, I'll take, take your you. rerolls. You Feed me your rerolls. They make me stronger. Okay, no, that was that was wrong. You're not centering your key. Well, I'm on that. That's <laughs> not too bad. A success. What do you got there? Two successes and an advantage. So that was why we moved again, because that was hit the wall and you grab the controls and then you hit the other wall and then you like, even uh, up. Uh, you're, fa- you're focusing on the wrong thing. Okay, all right. Let go of that steering wheel. It will not guide your heart. Now come here. <laughs> Let me hold your hand. Oh no. I, mm, Look me in the eyes. I feel like I know more about the you do <laughs> fear. than you do. Uh, you do fear and death. I've only watched someone fly one before. You I, I do fear death. I do. Because well, you know what? We're going to die in this hangar, and it will be for nothing. We, we will die. That's right. <laughs> we will die in this hangar. Envision this it. Hangar? Envision your body being blasted to pieces. Your liver. <laughs> my being, <laughs> imagine. Not your precious I'm sorry. Liver. Do you know As about your my upper thing body and your lower body rotate in opposite Liver's directions, and you're twisted apart. <laughs> Blood, bone, exploding out of you in a fountain. Am I supposed to feel good about that? You fear that? that? Yes, I do fear that. That sounds... Well, this isn't working. I don't think so. <laughs> I wasn't as afraid of death until you started talking about the horrible things that would happen. Oh, it'll get worse. Oh, God. But fear it's... death not. It'll... Okay, it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get through this. Okay, all right. Okay. Why do you fear death? Because everybody needs, because we got to do something or everybody will die. But death comes regardless. No matter what we do, it comes to us in the end. We must not Wait run from it. So you funny. run from your inimitable demise. Yuck. <laughs> so are you trying to say that everything we do is futile? No. Everything we do, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> everything we do is futile. <laughs> That's a good way to look at it. So. Okay. We're getting so somewhere. So it doesn't matter that much? Sure. You so, like, relax is what you're saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. If nothing matters, <laughs> and we're all already worm food, a blip in the cosmic sense of things, nothing we do matters. Well, just, just don't hang on. No, don't no. cling to this illusion of life. You know what? I... <laughs> you're getting there. Yeah, yeah. It, like, I've seen enough bodies. I've cut people open while they've been alive. Sometimes. Oh, wait, to what? save them. Yes. Those bodies are you. Yeah. Yeah, basically. You're, yeah. You're a walking corpse. That's why I drink so much. <laughs> good, good. I think we're making progress. Yeah, that's a real breakthrough. The fear. Our elevation is lifting. The fear of deathometer. It's rising. <laughs> is that there's a little thing on the side of going is, up from like 10, 20, 30, 40 percent. The lights start to grow brighter. The, the, the candles begin to flare a little bit. Cling to your fearlessness of death. Yeah, yeah. Take control of okay. these. Okay. Yeah. Grip, though. You, oh, the player flags are deploying. Outside of the ship, we see like, um, <laughs> those like Buddhist prayer flags. Like, like, um, wooden poles with like nice brass knob on top, like mm. pop out. And like flags come off of them. We've got full deployment. 
We're at nine to five percent. Do it. Take us out of here, fearless one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> launch, launch. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is the stick. Yeah. This is the this is yeah. the throttle. Right. Good. Okay. Uh huh. This is the button. Seems you got really, it. Really accurate. You, yeah. yeah. Sounds great. Give me a piloting check again. Okay. Uh, this time roll a force die. We'll see if you can uh, fearlessly go through. No, blast our way straight through the ceiling. Difficulty? Uh, difficulty on flying out of here under heavy fire. I'm going to call it uh, two purple, two black setback. Okay, well, I'm going to use another boost. I'll mm -hmm. take it. And I'm going to upgrade another this is a, to a yellow. So I'm rolling two purple, two setback. One boost, two green, one yellow, and one force die. Okay, here we go. Right side, right side, right side. Yes. Yeah. Oh no. Crushed. Barely. You do fear death. No, you don't, because you came up light side. You don't fear death. You just don't know how to fly. So mm. <laughs> <laughs> she said that earlier. Yeah. Perfect. You're the perfect person to fly, Slayer. Uh -huh. So that is one failure, one advantage. Oh, so one what, well, two light two side, light side two points. Is a, is success, right? That was just to see if you feared death or not. Oh, gosh. Oh, I me. don't. I nailed that. You truly don't. So I'm I will give you. Triumph on this. On this one? Uh, you got him to spend. I'm not going to argue with that. No, nope. wait, wait. Your questioning of that has made <laughs> me question <laughs> that. I know, I screwed up. Bad DM. <laughs> what happens if I fail this roll, but I am sufficiently unafraid of death? We don't launch? Yeah, so since you're totally unafraid of death, how about this? I think that's totally true. I'll give you two boost die for your light side point. Do you want to roll those and see if those get you through? Come on, successes! That's no! Not, you're still a failure. No! Because uh, the success and the failure cancel out, so there's a total of no successes. So what happens if I fail? Um... We don't you, you're, you don't fear death, or you just are a terrible pilot. So well, I think you missed the hangar. I'll probably have you slam into a wall. I'll get another shot on you guys, so there'll probably be two more crits on your ship. Mm. No. No. Don't fear it. We'll simply give you it. Black, we all did in the if church this century last softer. I, uh, I'm going to use my triumph. Boom. Okay. I'm going to use, I'm triumphing, mm. which means that even though you I still fail, I still fail at flowing, flying the ship out of here. But what happens is, is that I am a terrible pilot <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm using the stick. But instead, I'm just making the ship sort of like move around <laughs> in a circle. And I would like my triumph to be that the engine blast nice. swings over and catches that, uh, the Trandoshan down, that there? Trandoshan oh. down there, just, just, just a ship. <laughs> Fries him. Completely, yeah, incinerated. And some of his friends. It's... And the other ones are scared. Yeah, and people the... hit the deck, people are rolling away. Uh, no fair! The ship. We don't leave the hangar and we don't land. We're just sort of like moving and spinning around in this hangar. I like it. And if we, with the threat removed, it's trivial to simply steady yourself and fly <clears throat> out through the entrance. Uh, What's a, what's a fearless scream? Uh, uh, something you would yell as you punch this thing up to full throttle and you go blasting out of the hangar. It doesn't you... really matter! <laughs> well, now you're getting the hang of it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys tear out of the hangar. We get an excellent reverse angle of the engines flaring as you guys shoot out mm. into the like pale blue sky of Jenna. I would like you to describe how it felt to be fried by this engine, that Trandoshan. Oh, how did it feel to him? Dark. I wanted to. I want to know how it felt to him, and how dead he is. Maybe even his horrible laser blaster was melted into his. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's probably. I think he was like. I mean, just a hardened mercenary, and as he was starting to fire him, he was just like, mm -hmm. just firing into the exhaust as and it was his coming flesh towards is melting him. Off. Yeah, and it was going fine until the energy pack started just. Yeah, and it's like burning his eyes out, and then just <laughs> the energy packs ignite and just. Blow them apart. Wow. That uh, makes me happy. We get that moment where it's just uh, like just black silhouetted by pure white, and then just Trandoshan skull comes flying out and like slides onto the ground and smoke comes out of the eye holes. <laughs> That's dark. Yes. Yeah, and then we hold on it, and then it like the 
eye opens. No, it's just <laughs> dun, dun. No, that's, that's impossible. So no, we hold on it and nothing happens. It's a very morbid moment. <laughs> oh, holy crap. And Dana Man 95. Dana Man! Dana Man! A tremendous donation. Thank you so much. A tremendous man. He activates rerolls for each player and a table triumph. Table triumph? Nice. Banana Man. He's doing a great Bandana job. Bandana Dan the Banana Man. How can you do that to me? So this is, this <laughs> is, is it because I never get your name right? Yes. There's so much, these wonderful donations, that all I'm asking for is enough rerolls to really screw you guys over. Yeah. That's it. That's you you made us you made our request. spaceship into a prayer powered spaceship. <laughs> I think you're doing okay. I think that hit your mic. I think it you're welcome, too. viewers. Thank you guys. And thanks, man. Three rolls, Tyler. Uh, yeah, inside. Uh, I have three rerolls. Let's put something out here to represent table triumph. Sure. Oh, yeah. So that it will mock you the whole time. In yeah. in the uh, I just the well. want you to see it. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> You bastards. <laughs> I don't like any there of you. I don't like any of you right now. Aww. Okay, so you have a table triumph, two rerolls, and then two of the three players are also have triumphs. They can spend at any moment. Okay, all right, fine. Yeah. Making a mental note yeah, to right? increase the difficulty of everything to um, an unfair level. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> I don't think you need to increase the difficulty of anything. You guys go blasting out. We cut back inside to you guys. Uh, the candles are like flaring brightly. The prayer uh, wheels are spinning of their own accord very quickly with a rackety, 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 rackety. Yeah. Uh, it's going well. The incense is just flowing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The prayer. I'm trying to, trying to. Ha, ha. No, no, no. You stay on your note. And I. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. You're, you're, you're flat. Oh. No, just stay on one note. Oh. You, yes. Take the, take the B flat. Oh. No, you stay on your note. <laughs> I will move. Oh, oh, man, 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 match my pitch right here. I feel like you're going flat. No, you're going sharp now. No, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the whole flight. No, I was just going. Yeah. No, the whole flight. The doctor, the doctor and Jenner just left. I never knew he could sing so beautifully. <laughs> Sorry again, Brian. <laughs> oh, and we have another another donation from Nightsteed. Nightsteed, thank you so much, Nightsteed. guys, for these awesome donations. Oh, Nightsteed is so um, neat. You guys are really coming to bat. I, I, you know, I'm going to throw in, in addition to the Rad Trooper stickers, I'm going to throw in some Never Tell Me the Odds decals that you guys can put on your car, spaceship, or other mode of transportation. That's too generous, When I David. send those out. It's too generous. You're right. That is probably not quite worth being $50 to $100. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, no. Nightsty donates two boosts for Talene. Oh. oh! Man, oh man. Uh, Talene and well. Nightsty sitting in a tree. We better oh, determine man. whose obligation triggers this time. Oh, we didn't ever do that. We oh. haven't done that yet, and I'm really going to... Well, I think need both of our I... obligations triggered... Kelsey's triggered the first week, Mike triggered the second week. Yeah, that's right, and I, I've been trying to keep it moving, so I think it's Doctler's time for your obligation to trigger. Can we take a moment? Obligation. And you can yeah, tell yeah. us a little bit about what the doctor, the doctor's ob obligation is. <laughs> uh, the doctor, the space doctor, uh, in her previous life, uh, created awesome biotech inventions that uh, maybe a corporation wanted to destroy. It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> a corporation maybe wanted to destroy your awesome biotech that you Yeah, and I'm going to say something that you're okay. about to say. You never told me that before, but I totally did, which is that... You've told uh, me that, sure. Yeah, the reason, she, like, she went to dinner with a friend, and then the, the friend got poisoned at the dinner, and she was like, they're after me. That's why you don't have friends. That's why I don't. That's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. That's why I drink so much uh, scunch, because of its side effect of neutralizing all poisons. Uh, <laughs> wise. So uh, the the space doctor's obligation is paranoia. Um, paranoia. That somebody's right. out to get me. That that uh, mm. they the the the, the uh, corporation has come and they've come to get me. Finally, they finally found me and I made a note. Uh, my complication is that you aren't crazy if they're really out to get you. Mm. Okay, I love that. So you guys are, are as you're flying off. Well, first of all, uh, yeah. So. Whoa, hey, you did a great job. It's like I know everything about you now. What? What? I mean, I just meant we had a nice moment there. You know, what I saw you, you, know, What is it? You said 
Feel like you know everything about me now? Well, yeah, it's kind of in a rhetorical way. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm turn my back and busy myself with this thing. Over I got out here. my blaster pistol. And I point it at him. Do, 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 do your, and I'll just turn her. <gasps> <laughs> no, no, you played your head. I see what's going on here. What's going on up there? Nope, this is all a plot. Oh, you no. tricked me into this. Oh, <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting better. <laughs> what are you guys doing up there? We're definitely trying to stop. <laughs> like, Where's the mute button? <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> oh, good, finally. My death has come. <laughs> yes, do it. If this is what's your Who sent you? Who, who sent you? Who knows I'm here? What's, the face of that? death commands us all. <laughs> what? <laughs> way too into this. Think of what it would feel like to take a life. Who <laughs> sent you? If you pulled the trigger, the bicycle bolt. Who sent you? Passed right through my hand and out. No. Lay down on in your a face. Since I crave it. Lay down on your, lay down on your face, right now. I want to. So let me see your hands. I, I need to go through your pockets. Where's your poison? All right, all right. Well, I'll lay down. I'll just let go of the ship controls. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Of course. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Look at now, really, what's going on? Yeah, I, 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 I. What's going on, guys? Strain as from just the sheer panic. Um, that's great. Um, uh, yeah. So those are good questions. <laughs> and you guys are shouting up there. You're not really getting a response. But yeah. You are hearing. Do so I go over to the comm and I'm going? It's okay. I've got everything under control. I found him. I figured it out. That does not sound. Oh, that doesn't. That does not oh, make me sound this uh, isn't good. more comfortable. Roger, you got everything under control. Uh, you say as you're on the comm. That's of course the voice coming from the hut battle cruiser. Uh, that you guys flew out of a hangar towards. The only other ship on Jetta, the one that is hanging. Wait, I just used the comm to communicate with the hut ship. Um, oh no, that maybe was a coincidence. Uh, <laughs> repeat, do you have everything under control, ship? You are entering. Oh, and you know what? Uh, again, as I established a moment ago, hut, uh, Star Wars is movies. Mm -hmm. Movies has actors, and actors says things in played by people as voices. So. Right. What a great justification. Yes. I totally followed the logic of that. This is my uh, Star Wars uh, voice map, as we call it. It's got covered by suggestions. Some of them now crossed out. But you, the viewers, suggest to us, the players, on our Twitter, <laughs> at N-T-M-T-O podcast. That's <laughs> at N-T-M-T-O podcast. It's the worst Twitter handle ever, but it's I'll never change it. Does this, have an oh, sorry. Does this have an associated uh, hashtag? Uh, people yes, are hashtag use Star Wars cameos. Mm. Or Star Wars cameo, sorry. So, yeah, if you can put hashtag Star Wars cameo, any actor living or dead or animated or whatever, anybody you want to see, or imaginary, as long as they have a voice, we'll do it. Can you hand me that one? A uh, pen or something? You should totally Pencil do Mr. Action. Bean. Someone should, should. No, that's not funny, actually, it turns out, when you suggest someone who doesn't talk. Well, you've tried it before? Our time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we played with a guy who. One of the crit juice guys came and played and listed all people who don't talk. And it's like, oh, it's not very fun. Okay, so I'm going to roll on this. Wherever the Force Die lands is who's voicing. This is the actor we got. The got. The get. To who played this. And what do we have? Patrick Stewart. Oh, no. Sean Connery. Sean it's Connery. Sean Connery or Patrick Stewart? Fine line between those two. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you got to go Patrick Connery. Uh, Patrick, Patrick Connery. Connery it is. Patrick well, Connery. I'm, yep. definitely not, I'm definitely not voicing him. It's one of you guys. Uh, so... Oh, 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 oh. I, I am the last one. Oh, the there it is. There it is. <laughs> That's all I know. Oh, come in, come in. Thank you. That Who's was flying this ship? Perfect. That, <laughs> That's by uh, at Jimbo Hawkins. So thank you so much for that uh, suggestion, thank Jimbo, you, Jimbo Hawkins. If you guys have suggestions you'd like to see on the game, uh, absolutely just jump on the Twitter. Suggest that hashtag Star Wars Cameos. We're <coughs> at NTMTO Podcast. It's always a party. Join in. Guys, our donations also unlocked tier three. This is the third community goal. Very exciting. The Empire flashback. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the table now has a flashback. Yes. This is a joint flashback. I'm going to put out a new little symbol to represent this. Basically, the way this works is uh, communally. He's a pretzel. I just followed Jimbo Hawkins. No, no, I've got a better one. You got a new follower, Jimbo. Congratulations. Whoa, yeah. I like it. Oh, no, we're going to use this guy. Thank going. you for the suggestion. Oh, Jimbo true. Hawkins actually hails from the UK. Little <laughs> <laughs> known fact. You guys see this big crystal down there? This is representing a flashback that you guys can spend. 
Flashback is just exactly, again, Star Wars' movies. Movies has flashback. Flashback things in past happen. Uh, so when you're backed up into a corner and we need to, say, for example, if it was an 80s movie and you're about to fight the big bad guy and he's kicking your ass, and then you'd flashback and remember that time your brother taught you that one secret move you were never able to master, flashback ends, you get this, <clears> and then you do the secret move. Yeah, you get it. Yeah. Okay, so that's kind of the idea here with this table flashback. You guys can choose when to use it. We'll do a scene. We'll play out. And when that scene's played out, uh, you get the trial. This we'll is awesome, you guys. Thank right. you so much. That's a great one. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> yeah, we still have... Uh, uh, yeah, excellent, excellent. So, uh, very exciting. You're holding the yeah. abbot. This makes... You tried to convince me to die. <laughs> this makes so much sense now. Yeah, yeah. Ever since I Everything. met you, you wanted me to die. Sure. <clears throat> I want everyone to die eventually. Well, death is the greatest blessing of all. Who sent you? Huh. Simply the... Who is working with you? Uh, Are you working with the huts? Are you working with... Listen to yourself. You've gone insane. <laughs> but your madness uh, will guide you to a path of true oblivion. Follow it. Wait. You fear no death when you're mad. Give yourself in to your paranoia. I'm not crazy. You're out to get me. Well, if I was out to get you, why would I be trying to convince you that you're insane and you should kill us all? <laughs> Wait, well, okay. What? Okay. I don't like this. It's out of this. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, at the same time, so you guys, you probably come climbing up there. Yes. And, and you're not so far away either. So I think you guys both, probably from a little distance, probably like you go like coming around yeah. the corner mm -hmm. and then you see the gun pointing at the other guy. And that's also when the calm coming through. There's probably little calm panels over as uh, Sean Connery playing comm operator um, Banjo Harpoon. <laughs> 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 this is Banjo Harpoon. Banjo Harpoon. Unidentified Starcraft. What are you doing approaching our position? Oh, that's really good. <laughs> uh, tell him we're here to kill him, to bring, we're messengers of death. Don't say bad, no, don't say bad. Who's, <laughs> wait. <laughs> <laughs> This is what a terrible idea. Wait, what? are whoa. you working with him? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you working with him? What? Are you trying... working with me. You're working with me. He you're said wrong. you're working with him? Okay, Doc. Where's... What? Who are you working what for? What is going Who on? Who sent you? Was it the corporation? Do you, do Come you in, Starcraft. Stuff? Is that what's going on? You have 10 seconds to comply First before all, I open fire. Do you have a scotch that you've been in the holding from me? I thought that Hildy found some scotch. I, I've been in the control room. This is, as you mentioned Hildy, this is definitely the moment where Hildy would suavely walk in, calm everyone down, and answer the comm. Right. And you guys see <laughs> Hildy's unconscious Lived body. It. Right. <laughs> Cut to that, just laying there drooling. <laughs> Cut back to this. You're all working together, aren't you? Oh, no, calm. You're all working together. There's even it. There's not a hut ship, is there? You tricked me. Let me you just tricked me up here. Answer you the comm. Me. You have now have five seconds before I open fire. Oh yeah, go, go ahead and answer the comm. Uh, can I make a negotiation check to calm her the that ass sounds, down? That sounds like a great idea. Uh, yeah, so negotiation opposed by your negotiation, I believe is how that's done. <laughs> yeah, okay. You want to roll mine first? Yeah, yeah. But, but uh, take a step back, die on uh, on yours, Kelsey, because okay. she's crazy as, as nuts. Oh yeah. I'm she crazy as nuts. all get out. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh. So you rolled two, three successes. Three successes and an advantage. Advantage. So you have to roll more than three success. Okay. You got this. We'll see. You got this. No. no. You're good. Total of one, success. one success. Three advantage. Three advantage. I could re roll it. Nah. Nah. nah save it. your re rolls. Save it. Okay. We're going to need them to avoid the laser I'm fire. I'm shocked. So you're going to shoot her, or what would that mean? No, I'll, I'm going to re roll it. Okay. That's crazy. I'm just wondering. <laughs> well, there are. Uh, okay. uh, that's well, it's still a failure, but with a triumph. With yeah. a triumph, so you don't manage to calm her down, but you do manage to do. You don't manage to. You're trying to calm her down, right? I'm trying to calm her down. So you don't manage to calm her down, but you do manage something triumphant manages to happen. Yeah, this will be interesting to try to come up with. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so I, I think that you're just directing your anger at the wrong people right now. Because the huts are clearly the ones that are after you. <laughs> you know, you don't have to calm down. I'm not going to tell you to calm down. I hate it when people tell me to calm down. That's I am a, completely that's, calm. That's a jerky I'm thing to say. I'm completely sane. I know exactly what's going on here. Oh, I know. 
you the, were on top of it. The huts are out to get me. Exactly, and you need to do something about it. I need to do something about this. So put down that gun and get your hands back on these controls, Dr. Pilot, because we have huts to kill. Do, 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 do. At that moment, <laughs> you hear the target lock sound of uh, this, yeah. this yeah. ship, which is we face up new parts. ten you times bigger. Tell than your that. friends the huts that we're not going to hurt them at all. <laughs> hold your fire! Hold your fire! Uh, uh, this is this is an unarmed merchant vessel. Um, we have we have business with the huts. Uh, re repeat, we have we have we have business with the huts. We deception check. Okay. Apps one hundred percent. This is against. <laughs> <laughs> a train, right. because this is the sound that's continually playing throughout the ship. There's no way to turn it off. Uh, it's, it's, don't turn off the music. <laughs> we'll crash and die. <laughs> it's integral to the operation of the, the harmonic. Oh yeah, I have a convincing demeanor. What is this? Oh. Uh, remove. Uh, what is that? Is that a, is it a, blue, a purple per rank? Of uh, black. probably a setback. Remove probably a setback. One black. Yeah, probably remove a setback. Okay. okay. So this is normally this is going to be two red and a purple. Okay. Plus. Because you guys were waiting so long to respond to him, throw a setback on that. Okay. We'll take that out though, because you're convincing me here. Ish. Just you picked up two purples. I hate to be the. Two red and a purple. Oh, two red. Oh. Two red. Mm. Yeah. Well, Sean Connery is a. He's highly, no. He's no nonsense. He's a hut and calm a operator. He's going through. And he has purple. to put up with BS all day. Two reds day. and a purple. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, let's yeah, do yeah, yeah. And the black setback. Little guys. But, oh, but, but I, but I knocked that out, yeah. That. So, right. did can he, I give did him one of my boosts? Oh, yeah, I'll take a boost from myself. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Around, also, I uh, my character is not helping anyone right now. Yeah, right. Oh, that would not be reasonable. All right. Well, I'm, I'm slightly ahead here. So, uh, two yellows against two reds, one green against one perp, and a boost. Before you roll up. I'd like to hear what you have to say to Sean. Oh, you already said it. You were saying yes. That you're at. We are we are an unarmed merchant vessel. We have business with the huts. Uh, we 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 have a, we're, we're we're ready to negotiate huh. terms. I'll tell you what I think about that. <laughs> find out what he thinks. Mm. All right. Mine's not as good as yours. What's all right? Out to triumph. Oh. oh. And a success. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and one success. Oh. Wow. And two advantage. Two advantage. Oh, so that's the full suite. That's uh, Those all one canceled. success, a triumph, and two advantage. Mm -hmm. So you succeed at convincing him. Mm -hmm. Additionally, something else happens. And there's just like something else even be more beneficial than that happens on the side from the advantage. I'll tell you what I think about that. <laughs> well, open fire. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> what she's saying makes a lot of sense. <laughs> we were expecting a shipment. Uh, of um, of crystals coming from a hidden location deep within the base. Um, proceed to Hangar 4, and you'll be greeted uh, by a party who will have the payment that you have requested. Yes, and that is what happens. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, perfect. So you're going to get paid, and they're directing you to a hangar. Perfect. <laughs> Cut to a little segue. As you guys uh, arrive... We close in on the side of this hut ship. So it looks like it's a hut battle cruiser. It's it's looks a lot like Jabba the Hut's pleasure barge, mm -hmm. the, the katana. I happen to know what it's called. Uh, wow. You happen to know through your that's deep some deep nerdy. lore. Yeah, that is some deep lore. It's definitely never said anywhere ever. At any point. <laughs> it's got the sails coming out the top and everything like that. It's kind of that general shape, except way bigger. It's uh, not quite the size of a Star Destroyer, maybe half the size of one, but it's pretty big. It's sitting there, massive, just hanging without moving a thousand feet or so above the ground uh, over that dusty landscape of Jeddah. Hangar 4, like a giant, mm, what do you call that, reticulated? I guess that works. Bay kind of like slides up. Oh, yeah. Like a garage door? Like a garage door. <laughs> <laughs> comes up making way for you guys to land in looks very different from the inside of an imperial vessel you know those are very clean and all white and everything like this it's 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 everything's just that kind of banana peels everywhere rusty brown color <laughs> gooey yeah. they like inside uh there is kind of like a, a yellowish mist hanging around inside let's uh just have smog will travel <laughs> that's right have air pollution in their controlled yeah. environment. They're like, oh, we could make the air That's clean, they like but it. this is yep. tastes better to so, us. So, 
uh, yeah, it's got that going on inside, and all sorts of different aliens doing things. They're all wearing their jumpsuity kind of jumpsuits, but you see some more Trandoshans, some Rodians, nice. a couple Twi'leks. The uh, crazy little laughy guy. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah you actually do see a few uh, Ko uh, Kualukian lizard monkeys wow. uh, scampering about. Uh, knights? No, I'm sorry, I got Knights. Steve, that's an existing donation. Yeah, I already got that one. Great. Yeah. But thanks again, Knights. That was the uh, <laughs> two adva or two something to clean. To boost. The boost. The boost. The boost. You guys come landing inside <laughs> in this, this hut ship here. Uh, so, yeah, lots of different alien life forms. A couple of Platoonians, you know, a week way or two. Just hanging out. Look those up, those are all real. Uh, <laughs> doing like there's a couple other much smaller vessels inside probably a couple more of those headhunter vessels mm. um, kind of prototype X-wing looking things C95 yeah. yeah nothing looks super shiny or new or anything like that tubes hanging out everywhere and then up above the hangar when you guys fly and land in it's gonna this whole hangar is gonna be pretty crowded up above that there's like a control operational thing worked into the far wall it's got like <laughs> slanted glass windows that look down below, and you can see some like people up there doing stuff. Mm -hmm. Guy down on the ground, um, an Arcona, weird broad head in his eyes, like flags you guys in. So you guys come into the hangar, settle down, look at each other, and realize, why did we come here again? <laughs> Which I would like to revisit for the moment. So you guys have successfully <laughs> infiltrated your way into the hut battleship, the one that is currently trying to, and fairly effectively, waging ah. war on your town, claiming as slaves. Is that an Arcona? What do we got? Arcona. Yes. He's got two little, like, lit-up wands, and he's wearing, like, yeah, an yeah. old, old um, dark green jumpsuit with, like, a, yeah. some sort of tan jumper over that. And he's like, boop, boop, waving you in. This is from the movie. Sure. This is, uh, Thank you. A good Arcona there. Yeah. Yeah, he, he does have golden glittery eyes. <laughs> Just like that. Mm. Waving you guys in as you settle down. So, the Huts have been trying to basically say they own this planet, all the Kyber Shards are theirs, and everyone who lives there is now a slave that they want to take to Hut homeworld to be slave on now Hutta. You guys have, you guys decided last session to grab this ship, uh -huh. fly it in. Right. Mm -hmm. You've done that. You're now successfully on board the Hut ship. Was there a part two to this plan? <laughs> There we, was. We did it, guys. We got on board the ship. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Now we hang the banner. <laughs> yep, hang the banner. The plan was to get on the ship and crash it. Oh, I like this plan. Yeah. Well, We're well, going to need your help with the last part. You're looking at me, the Abbott? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody's going to need to go down with it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> sweet, sweet death. Well, I mean, I don't want to die actively, but uh, I'm more interested in studying the death of others. Well, there will be so there much There will be death. a lot of that. Sounds all right. As you're going down. Yeah, and you will have front row seats. Oh, all right. <laughs> Are you tied up? Did we tie him up? I did not I'm tie him up. I'm still laying face down on the ground with my hands behind my back. <laughs> okay. It was just your natural Are you not position. Pointing? Oh, you ain't pointing no good at me you anymore. Can, you can get up. <laughs> yeah. I but I am keeping an eye on you. It gives you a, want, a nod and a wink. The initial plan, before I figured out that you're all against me. Still not. We'll wait and mm. see about that. Was to use the hut that we have to travel through the ship. Maybe get up with Boomba the hut. That wasn't his name. Uh, nephew Bumbo. That's the one. Says Bumbo. the elderly hut still wedged in the gunnery thing yeah. way down below where he's in there in the dark. La, la, la. Still singing, trying to get harmonies with himself. La, la, la. But the comms on. You said something about my nephew, nephew Bamboo the Hut. We use him to get to Bamboo, so we're gonna. And like, maybe he tells Bumbo to. Yeah. But how else are we gonna get around with the Hut other than pretending to be the Hut's slaves? We are merchants. Here to deliver a shipment of kyber crystals. All oh, right, we went over that already. To the uh, to the huts. And we are expected. We apparently. Uh, I just it, learned. Brought him along, just in case. Mm -hmm. Well, we're he is mercenaries. Yes, he he is he is he was the de facto leader once his uh, 
uh, brother, cousin. Wh what, is who this? what were we talking about? Uh, Bumbo's oh, Bumbo the took old, over. The old deranged yes. Here? yes. Yeah, he seems like he was the guy who would the the local governor who'd been installed on the planet, mm. uh, and then uh, the weird old guy who kind of took control seemed to have just brain burned him, kind of <clears> mm. totally lobotomized him almost. And oh, got it. Has been kind of ruled in his steed, using him as a puppet. So, so this is he is the. So he's L Bumbo, the one we have in our ship. He's the legitimate leader. Oh, no, that's not the one you have in your ship. Bumbo's oh. the one on this. Bumpu. Oh, I see. Okay. Bumpu the Hut is the guy who just managed to fly into the system and wants to lay claim to this whole planet. Mm -hmm. So recently came to his attention. Uh, the guy you have on your ship gave his name. I think it's you found Lugo it. the Hut. Lugo. Lugo. Yeah. And so Lugo was... Yeah! He, he was the guy who got burned out. Yeah. yeah, he's got brain burn. He's the god. Remember, he calls mm -hmm. calls you lube. Wait, he calls. Someone yeah, lube. he says, "Come out! I'll do anything you guys want." He's, he heaves his horrible old body up out of the gunnery tube. And, oh, so we also have. You're disgusting. <laughs> Think I, about that. To me. I hugged him to make him into a shield because he's very tough. That's but, right. I was gonna say the, <laughs> the only thing I would do is do it for my friend Lou. Where's Lou? It says, looking right over Hildy's unconscious yeah. body. Yeah. Well, I suppose you and me do have kind of a thing going on now. Stone. No one ever held me before. <laughs> held me like a baby. <laughs> Sing me to sweet oh, sleep. Yeah, okay. oh. We also have a data pad. A hut da the pets. This is, this is, uh, you, I recognize that that was a huge mistake <laughs> that I made, so... I guess the person in this ship most out to get me is me. <laughs> I think your drinking problem said that. Uh, okay. <laughs> so we also have a hut data pad. Oh, we do. Mm -hmm. It's got uh, evidence of fraud on it. I don't know why I would want to use that. Yeah. Mm. That's yeah. that's just something for us to know. But it could have other information on there that is useful to us. Maybe helps us to crash this ship if Plan A. So plan A is use this hut to make this other hut do what we say. Plan B is to crash the ship. Plan C is that they're all out to get me and I get poisoned <laughs> immediately because I believed any of you. But at that moment, um, what's your, can I get a perception check from none of you guys are paying attention? You're all talking to each other. <laughs> from the Look. hut? <laughs> so it's, what? Uh, you can what see. Is it? Up, what is up, it for? Sorry, it's up to the. I had to open this diet Dr. Pepper cherry first before I answered mm. you. Because it has wonderful. The delicious, tonic. crisp taste of Dr. Pepper. I know nothing soothes my throat after a long game of. You yeah. never tell me the odds. Like a nice diet Dr. Pepper. Diet Dr. Pepper, the thirst butcher. Mm. Yeah. With Wonder Woman on it. Fantastic movie. You should go out and see Wonder Woman. Sure. And we are, of course, we should say we are sponsored by both Diet Dr. Pepper and Wonder Woman, so thank you mm -hmm. guys for that. Yeah, thank you guys for the sponsorships. So we're expecting a check any day now, and it's going to be huge. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> sure they, pretty sure I read that email right, and they said we are sponsored by them. I think that's yeah, what that right? said? I think so. I didn't yeah. really they read it. They said keep talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Up through the canopy, um, striding kind of back and forth in the uh, command center up above. Blonde haired. No. Gaunt looking. No. Uh, black guy. turtleneck. Hino oh. looking guy up there. Hino. Hino looking. <laughs> uh, you just see him walk around. He's, he's regarding the ship from a distance like that. Um, the Arcona quits, finishes waving, peep, waving you guys in. You've all settled down. Um, touches his calm. Comes on inside. You're ready for boarding now, says the Arcona in Sean Connery's voice. Um, oh, the Ar it's the Arcona is Sean Connery? Yeah. Um, yes, yes, yes. Good, the party. The boarding party with your payment. Oh, this is, you've got to do it. It's the boarding party with your payment will be, uh, will be coming aboard your ship shortly. And please, it, uh, please disengage your hatch and open up. Yep. It, would you say that you want our hatch to be gaping? <laughs> <laughs> That's the doctor that we know and love. Yes. Sure enough, uh, a yes. couple, a couple of blast doors open on the side, <laughs> and uh, a younger oh, hut undulating his way out. That's the exact kind of hut we should test our hut out on. 
Because he's younger and he doesn't know what's going on, and our hut can impress them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Plink, Lugo. Like six, six uh, armed guys. Two of them are carrying like a big crate filled with like presumably wealth. Mm. Mm. Sweet. Uh, let's take that. For sure, put that on the ship. But that, let's get that on the ship first, and right. then once they're on the ship, we will uh, engage our hut with their hut to see if that works. Okay. Mm. Let's you talk said to my first. name a minute ago. Lugo. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get my hut face going on. <laughs> I was told we'd be dealing directly with Bumbo. I'm Lugo. No, who am this I? Is Lugo. This is Lugo. The no hut isn't on yet. He's being Lugo, right? I'm being Lugo. Oh, this is Lugo. This is our hut. This is our hut. But a new hut came on the a ship. A new hut is. <laughs> they're they're approaching. The oh, we're not. We're not, not gaping currently. <laughs> oh, I thought we already gaped. We need to disengage. I'm okay. your hut. Hatch in order to gape. Oh, I'm your hut, baby. Okay. This is our hut. You're my this is Lugo. Our hut. You're my baby boy. Lugo. Who? Lou. 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 That's Lou. He says pointing out Hildy's unconscious buddy. So who are you? Who are we dealing with? Who am I? What can I call you, brother? Call me. (laughs) Your name is Lugo. Wampa. No, no, no. Come back. Come back. Come back. Listen, do you want uh, more hugs? You know everybody. Right. All the time with more hugs. Yeah, you want more hugs. You know how to get more it, hugs. The skin folds draping off of him. Mm. You don't get them now. Mm. High five. <laughs> <laughs> she does the high five to avoid the hug. The Clinton. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That? that was awesome. That was so amazing. Uh, <laughs> it was it was her debate prep. She was she was high five. She was, pre- there was they had, practicing high fiving. If they were Donald Trump the hug. hug. <laughs> so good. Anyway, um, that's our president. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, uh, go ahead. Yeah, I want more hugs. So you want more hu- if you yeah, want hugs. If you don't get hugs, hugs now, not no hugs right now because we're very busy. But if you. I don't know what you were going to say. I hope it was better than what I was going to say. I don't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> That's all right. Here. No, it's all right. No, 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 no. No hugs yet. Pal, I'm going to call you yeah. Burp. Does that work? Yeah. All right, Burp. Got a certain poetry to it. Listen mm-hmm. to me, Burp. You are the rightful ruler of Gano, Gano, Gano? Gano Hill. Gano Hill. You're telling me. Yes. You are the rightful ruler of Gano Hill. You, your Okay, brother, I can buy this. Yes. <laughs> your brother was assassinated by space assassins, and you took over. You remember this. We were all there. Yeah. You were okay. a hero or something. You know what else would work? Right here. I'm just thinking right now. Roll. I need. I need a, a, a charm check, maybe. Charm. Charm. Yeah. I can charm. I'm charming. Charm is hut pants off. Where charm is charming hut. person is passed out. Let's be. A, yeah, this guy's got some charm. I'm too. charming. All right. Char is charming. She, she turns on the charm. Okay, well, mm-hmm. give she me. She deals with the ne'er do well. Oh, look at that. I see a yellow in your head. Mm-hmm. You're charming. Yeah. Charming up. I okay, it back. this guy's so addled and out of his head, though, it's going to be a little bit tricky. Mm-hmm. <laughs> give me. This. It's got to be a red. Ooh. Always throw me the reds. Two purple. Red and, and two, two black setback. Oh! And two blacks. Oh. That's because he's crazy. Okay, sorry. Two perp. Red and two perps. And, and two blacks. Two well, I am. Oh, wait, hold on. Does that work? I don't think. I don't think charm is included. Nope. Deception and skullduggery. Mm. So this is going to be to. This is basically you convincing him, in, drawing him into your narrative, making mm. him focus enough to be like, yeah, okay, I'll do whatever you say, buddies, instead of wandering off and causing trouble. Right. Right. They're trying yeah. to trying to reach into that thick hut skull of his. Yeah, yeah. Going to boost. I'll take your boost. On boost. Boost accepted. Um, boosted. And um, so, yeah, here's what we got. We got two perps, two greens, a red and a yellow, and two blacks against one light blue. Oh, that could break either way. Let's roll it up. So, yeah, yeah we, we have a, a slight a uh, slight yeah. disadvantage, oh. but I'm uh, not going to tell you what the odds are. Ooh. Nope, that's what I got. never do that. I get one of these, yeah. I was going to ask you if you wanted to use the force. 
Um, it is not within my discipline. It's not, but I would However. let you. So I will let you guys use the force outside your discipline. You're trying to mind trick him, essentially. Yes. Uh-huh. I will let you do that. If it's outside of your discipline, it's fine. You simply have to tap into the dark side. Oh, not a problem. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and my, my, my tone turns sinister. It's like, yes. You are the great leader. Join us. You have to do this all the time. Yes. Yeah. You are the great Think leader. of the power. Unlimited power! <laughs> roll, roll it up. Okay, and add a force die to okay. it. This is just your regular force die, right? Oh, regular force die. Do you want to boost it by another one? What's that? What's your weakness? Hubris. Okay. Hubris. Do you want to use an, a spare force die? You've got die? Uh, an extra one on the table. You can add every force point you roll will be an additional success. Okay, uh, sure. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So I get an additional so, one? Yep. Yeah, uh, put that last remaining one just there. So remember, you've got another one. All okay, right. roll it up. All right, I'm just going to do, I'm just gonna do this. But I'm not sure I... <laughs> <laughs> Hope this isn't the lightning. Okay. <laughs> Still quite new at this. Oh, oh, oh yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Wait, let's just, I'm just going to... You crack yeah. open his brain and do <laughs> with it as you wish. I Kylo Ren him. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like not even from the Star Wars jump. You just are like, you're, you're just implanting memories into them at this point if you want. So that's four successes. They were all light side points. I'm going to give you three just off the bat for yeah. using something outside of your discipline. That's fine. I also think, uh, and that's not too bad. You roll any dark side points, so I think I'll I'll stay on All three. right, all right. One, two, three. Get out of that one. What is your total conflict at right now? Uh, I'm at 11. Oh, jeez. Wow. <laughs> oh, Char is headed hard. A I've chosen. Hard. I've chosen no compulsion. So that, that's not bad. That's not bad. So it, it, it makes sense with your background. It really does. To be does. like, yeah. your, like, your morality is completely utilitarian. Yeah. Yes. Like, if it's good for me, so, it is right. good. So you succeeded. You have four total successes. You have a triumph. You also have two threats. So tell mm-hmm. me what do you want. To, I, everything you told him, you totally believe that. Right. Um, so In addition, you have a triumph. is the warlord and the leader of, uh, of Gano Hill. Yeah, that's he right. is the rightful ruler and heir of Gano Hill. He sure. is the hero who defeated the assassins who murdered his brother, I want to say. I remember doing that. Yes. Uh, 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 chased them off. Um, that's right. uh, brought the city under your thumb. As clear as yesterday, I did And these you, things. you, um, you, uh, uh, are That's right. furious right. that another hut would dare come into your planet and take away your role as rightful heir of Gano Hill. These bastards, they come here, come to my home, take from me what, what uh, I rightfully deserve. I, the man who slaughtered the assassins who came after me here. Yes. I can recount these details. <laughs> like, so I burped the hut. <laughs> burped the hut, yeah. Burped. How dare they? Come. My close personal friends who I trust with my life <laughs> right. have many detailed memories of helping me out throughout my long and storied <laughs> uh-huh. career. Your, 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 trusted, uh, your, your trusted lieutenants. That's 100% yeah. correct. Yes. That and everything else you tell me about. <laughs> I unquestionably accept. All right. Does the triumph mean that these memories stay there a nice long time? Oh, yeah. And that You got him. And that Lugo seems yeah. lucid? Yeah, he, he <laughs> seems lucid. He all seems right. losing. That's it's, all we he's need. clearly <laughs> you've just you've just addled his poor brain. Right. I poured mayonnaise on the top of it. Yeah, and well, we're not <laughs> we're never giving these old ones back. Uh, so we'll just what can I make out of these? Yeah. It's doggy. Right. There you go. Yeah. We didn't need those brains. <laughs> Great. Uh, two threat is that uh, outside they're getting impatient with the bang. It takes just takes a little while to mm-hmm. manufacture a whole suite of memories. Bang 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 bang. All right, uh, I'm ready to uh, gape open the, the door. Yeah, gape it. <laughs> gape the door. <laughs> yeah. Massive gaping entryway to the ship spreads out. Apologies for the delay, gentlemen. You're greeting them? Yeah. Uh, our hut master needed to attend to some last minute details with us before allowing you on board. Here I am! He says, <laughs> sashaying out as he... Um, his, his folds <laughs> flopping <laughs> like a hat. Yeah, they are, he reaches over and like, grabs a tablecloth and whips it off and drapes it around him. So. That looks not crazy, proper right? for me to go out without Abby. my royal robes of office. Of course, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> Snap his line, man. 
We have business with my nephew, Bumper. Yeah, be sure to leave the payment here, though. Just yeah, leave it, it right. Let's put, put it, it right here. <laughs> Right Don't bring it on. It all, it, it, the faces blanche of the boarding party. The minions are all like, oh, like they immediately step back. Do their mouths gape? Their oh, mouths, no. wow, <laughs> drape open as a, in a gape. <laughs> Gape-like. Celine, <laughs> 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 having fun. <laughs> having a good time. Uh, the other, the younger husband there is looking very... <laughs> Go the... Like, just shocked. Giving you the face of, like, I thought he was dead. Like, oh, like he's seen a ghost. Just, what? He goes by Burke now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you shall refer to him as such. Master Burke. 100% correct. <laughs> I am Burp. <laughs> no longer call me Lugo. That means that name is meanness to me. Now follow me, Ben. <laughs> we march on this inter interloper. Ha! He's like with his gusto. His gusto, yeah. He's, he's just absolutely. Oh, thank goodness you got that trial. <laughs> <laughs> this is a just... very convincing hut. <laughs> Uh, and like he's just like he's still so frail and all, but <laughs> like just looks extremely sick. But wearing the tablecloth, <laughs> like a cape around his hide, his neck. Perfect. He comes flopping down. You guys follow him off. Is there, what, would you be taking anything off the ship? Well, how would you have prepared yourself in the moment you had? Were there any stim packs on the ship? Were there? Yes. <laughs> no. Yeah. Why would we have stim packs on yeah, our they, ship? They don't want to survive. I'll be staying here, counting all these precious kyber shards. Oh yeah, I'll just put them back with the big kyber shard you guys brought back to us. Where no, no, that we one? left that in the temple, remember? No, of course not. We brought them with us. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just go put them back there. Do no, no, you come with us. Hopefully, this is all happening hopefully it wasn't damaged in that fight when we took off. Oh. <laughs> there are a lot of bullets flying around. So uh, that is the thing happening there. He's going to stay behind. There are no okay. stim packs unless you want to spend a life side point. So one life side point per stim pack. Or, or. Uh uh. Just no. accept a mere conflict mm -hmm. point for a stim pack. Oh, I know. One conflict con point for stim pack. I don't know. Great Shark's going hard on the dark side. I, mm -hmm. I, I don't want to split the party <laughs> side. We could rule the galaxy together. <laughs> Yes, you sure, my trusted friend. Mm. I definitely have my lightsaber, my blaster pistol. I have a blaster rifle. I'll carry that. And I've got binoculars. Okay. Those are with me. So you guys are taking your, your total kit. You got all your, your stuff. All your gear. I am looking yeah. at, yeah, I, I, as we get off the ship, like, my hand is on my gun, and I'm, like, staring everyone down suspiciously. I'll bring, a, like, a big handful of kyber shards from okay. that jug in case I need to bribe some people. Oh, handful of kyber shards. I like it. So you got that as well. <laughs> so you guys together exit the ship, pass through these quarters. Oh, it, oh God, by the way, as soon as Oh, do you still have the hut data pad? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, big, ugly data pad. Mm -hmm. Knobby. But it's in, like, a backpack or something. Oh, yeah. I'm, well, you I'm, could get it out, and then it makes this look more official. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have it as though I'm, like, his, you know, his, like, right... Yeah, yeah. As you guys You're, like, constantly typing. <laughs> yeah. But all you're writing over Anything and over Anything else, again. sir? Fine. <laughs> Yes, yeah, take the rest of my lunch order. Mm -hmm. I have 19 sandwiches on the way for you, sir. That's right, and a flarf bar for later. 19 flarf sandwiches. Crunchy flarf. Okay, uh, so. Flarf extra sandwiches. flarf sauce. It's <laughs> flarf bread. Yeah. I'm bringing some flarf next time. It's an FFF. It's a flarf 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 sandwich. <laughs> I'm toasted flour. Flour, 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 flour. <laughs> I don't like flour. I don't like flour. <laughs> uh, we, as you guys exit the ship, gazing down from up above, you had two threat. Yes. We just get a reverse shot from over the shoulder of our of our blonde gentleman, the guy who is the interpreter for uh, uh, Bumpo. <clears throat> or Bumpo. Bump. Yeah. Bumpo. Bumpo. Bumpu. Yeah. Uh, just gazing down at you guys through the glass as you guys disappear into the bowels of the ship with uh, the emaciated hot white tablecloth flopping <laughs> head. Mm. Yeah. 
Okay, cut two. You guys passing through hallways. The smell in this hut ship is wonderful. Mm. Wonderful. It, it, it's like uh, it's the smell of a, of a forgotten fart. It's just. <laughs> It's, That's what all hot chips smell like. Yeah, there's, there's that. It's, you never really can quite get it out of your nostrils. No, it's just that 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 uh, egg sandwich that's been sitting out for too long. <laughs> kind of smell just always coming around, just from up above the corner. So it's kind of a, a wet gurgling mm. sound. There's two a pipes, a lot of pipes that are running overhead, and there's just kind of a continual <laughs> humid as well. Really humid in there. It's just perfect. Yeah. They keep which, that humidity which we because we come from a desert place that oh, feels gosh. worse. Like we're not used to this level of humidity. Yeah. It feels so like you're in a swimming pool. We just like mm-hmm. start sweating through our clothes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's almost decadent. Uh, <laughs> almost a decadent level of humidity. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then yeah, the, the, the hallways again. They're they're kind of slightly organic and bumpy, not harsh and angular. They're, they're a bit rounded, and then these tubes come out of everywhere, almost give it a slightly vascular look as you go through. But they're also wider than normal hallways. They're kind of wide at the bottom and then come up a little bit, sort of triangular, hut-shaped yeah. hallways. Down these hallways, you guys are led. Uh, the lead hut guy, the younger hut, going, <laughs> Your hut, Burke goes, very good, yes, bring us to, bring us to Bumpo immediately. We will have words with him about what is going on. You guys are uh, are uh, led up to the door, the main doorway. <clears throat> door opens, there's just like atrium inside. Double doors open. It's a fairly small room, probably about the size of the room we're in. Not so much bigger than that. At the opposite end, a really ornate, massive, fancy looking set of double doors. Highly burnished, dura steel with this ornate sort of gilding around it. Mm. Um, like beautiful, like golden gilded um, cherubim, if they looked like huts instead of little babies. <laughs> uh, golden wings and stuff like that. They're like, like big, giant Cherub. baby hut eyes. Uh-huh. Gross. Oh. Gross. Baby huts are kind of cute, guys. There's got to be a picture of that. Of, of, of baby, baby huts? huts? Standing oh, in please. Hutlings? Please let there be baby huts somewhere on the internet. <laughs> oh, gross. Oh, yes, they are. They're for sure. Oh, oh, just look God. up liver flutes. Rada. Why on earth would there not be on? They're adorable. Everything is on the internet. Giant oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> the dice. That's. That's ideal. I have a new Halloween costume. It looks like yeah, right? a. Hold on. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, yeah. <laughs> that is. Oh, look at these grumpy little larva birds. <laughs> It's like a little frog with arms. Yeah. yeah. It's adorable. Mm. So cute. Uh, Brian, both. Both. If we can, subscribers uh, and donators. Yes, please. If that's possible. <laughs> yes. Great Thank idea. You. Nod. Good. So you guys are uh, into this atrium room. The doors shut behind you. Some lights go on around the top. Quite kind of like up on the very rim of the top room. White light's gone. The doors behind you have shut. The doors in front of you are shut. It's you guys. Burke the hut. The other young hut. They're all crammed into this room together? Actually, probably, yeah. The other young hut goes on ahead. I think that'd be too much for you. So he goes to the gilded doors. Hut. You know what? The other young hut wouldn't even come in. Stops outside the door. You guys come in. So to edit myself, six guards. Your hut, the three of you, into this room, door shut, light starts shining, and then suddenly, red alert goes off, the guards looks around really surprised, he's got his own hut data pad. Yeah. Are you ordering sandwiches on your hut data pad? What? Oh, he wouldn't have that voice. Kind of a good guy. Lightsabers? He says, looking up in alarm at you guys. Uh, yeah. Lightsabers. What's the problem? We killed Jedi when we took the planet over. What's the deal? (laughs) (laughs) Can I make a deception check? Yeah, please do make a deception check. So it's just against the the guards in the the room right now. To convince them that this is no big deal. Yes, deception check would be perfect. Uh, difficulty. Hmm. 
kids are not too super smart. Uh, just three purple. Easy. How would they know that uh, what lightsabers were? I oh, thought... and we have a Fakwa, a boost for Kelsey. Oh, yeah. uh, Kelsey, we have a boost for Fakwa for you. Fakwa! Thank you. What Regular. kind of boost? Regular boost. A good one. Not a gentle boost? No, no, not a gentle boost. All right, Fakwa, you're slipping, man. <laughs> <laughs> not that kind of day. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's a success. It's a success. That's a success. It's very dangerous success that I'm making. Uh, yeah. Three oh, wow. success and threat. two threats. Yeah, three two threat. successes and two threats. You know what, Tyler? I'm sorry. It was a gentle boost. Thank you. Oh, it was. I neglected to add that note. Thank okay. you. Uh -huh. okay. I would expect nothing less. You, Tyler, good catch. Fakwa, that was a gentle boost. Thank you. <laughs> gentle boost, Kelsey. <laughs> you, that was a success? Yeah. A rousing success. How many successes did you have? Was it three with... Three successes, two threat. Three, three successes, yeah. two threat. Great. Three successes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we commandeered these lightsabers Dark. when Burp took over, when Master Burp took over our planet. We carry, we them, carry like them around trophies. to prevent them from trophies. falling into the wrong hands and to show that we are killers of Jedi. Also, you seem like you're out to get me. Um. Oh, don't start with her. She, she's she's volatile. Very scary. You uh, are you trying to? Are you out to get me? Who sent you? Mm -hmm. They're starting to like, the guns are still out, I guess, at this point, pivoting towards you. <laughs> <laughs> there is, see? Uh, everyone is out to get me. This is one thing that I would advise against doing. Grandark! Uh, all weapons! This is a probably Trent Ocean guy trying to speak. Down on ground! How about your weapons down on the ground? Because uh, you can't be pointing weapons in here with our master hut. Yeah, in the room. Burp will not like this. Right, Burp? Yeah! Put down! They take all the weapons they want! Yeah! Mm -hmm. yeah. As a show of good faith, I'm going to put my blaster rifle on the ground, and my vibro knife, and my lightsaber. I'll, I'll take my lightsaber, I'm like, this is what you're worried about? And I'll put it down right next to my foot. And then I'll be like... <laughs> my that? threat will be the doors, not the main doors. <coughs> or are they the main doors? Yeah, the main doors in front of you guys open up. <laughs> yeah, this is me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Dude, ugh. Oh. Walks in the... Walks into the room. Door shut behind him. Keep your guns up, my precious guards. Why do you follow your bad guys? Yeah, look at this. He says he's taking like the word precious. <laughs> and not gaping. But my gaping guards, they do not gape. You will be the ones who are gaping. Liars. Look at this information that I have here. Oh, yeah. I'm afraid that our cam droids got many photos of you back on Jetta. Mm -hmm. Which I guess we're still on, but you, you know mean what I mean. Back in the city. Defending our property? You mean photos Wait. of us doing that? Doing that's, what our master hut tells us to do? That Remember is not. That? That's not us. Can oh, I see that? Or that? Well, well, that's these? another approach. Yeah. No, I don't think so. This is <laughs> mine. <laughs> <laughs> Gun under the head? Uh, yeah, I, I pull out my holdout blaster. It's on a little wrist uh, slider. Oh, and I put it under his head. You've got to flip over a light side point for me to, because we've okay. established you have a flip out light uh, blaster, but I buy oh, that you would have one. Well, I do have one. Oh. It, it's on my character sheet, but yeah. Oh, do you? So yeah. Flip it back over. And I, I also have, uh, I also had rap, <laughs> rapid Prove reaction it. and, uh, oh yeah, well here's the holdout, holdout blaster, blaster is on the front page. Right there. Does it say that it shoots out of your hand that you had on a little thing? Uh, it doesn't necessarily, but 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 okay. I do have. I want to reward your good thinking, so I have quick draw and rapid reaction. Okay, I'll take both of those, and that's fine. So you do have it on a little. And it thing. also has a file down. Uh, yeah. oh, they're pointing on God. Is it filed down so that it's pointy? Uh, oh. Yes, but it's filed down mostly so I can draw it faster. Yeah. Oh. Gotcha. Oh. Uh, immediately as soon as you do that, the guards who are trained open fire on you guys. So we're in a. What? Yeah. 
Uh, We're in a tiny little no, room. No, don't shoot! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they're just like, <laughs> Okay, so what's good initiative and check? Chaos. But this is a hostage situation. Oh, fuck it. Oh, just, sorry. Oh. Worth it. <laughs> oh. oh. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Finally, it goes deep. We have another donation. Death by Donut. Thank you for the donation. Ooh. I don't by think donut. you That's how donated I on my stream before Death by Donut. I'd recognize that name. But if you have, I'm sorry I forgot. It's a good way to die. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Death by Donut. Was he a, a band that you were? Oh, I can't remember. Anyway. Activate a gaping boost <laughs> for Tyler. Yeah! My boy! Thank you. Thank you, Death by Donut. One gaping boost. Oh, it's sir. gaping so hard. Gaping so hard. No! You know what? Yeah. Calling it a gaping boost was a boost for me. <laughs> <laughs> my, right. my morale has raised. So the room is about the size of the room we're in. There are the three of you, plus six guards, oh. plus a full-grown hut. Oh, oh, plus yeah. the German guy. Mm. So there's barely enough room for these guns to point around. It immediately laser fire just <laughs> everywhere. It gets crazy. <laughs> Well-trained guards. Yeah. Just so start just firing. <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah, uh, but... <laughs> Zero I use my here. seek power to deflect every single one of those bolts back onto the guard that shot it. <laughs> nice! Do it! You guys have lightsabers, which are not a bad thing to have in close combat. Yeah. So, uh, what it was here, we need cool. vigilance? Cool. I think it's cool in this case for sure. <laughs> Everyone give me a cool check to determine oh. who goes first. No okay. purple on that. This is just to determine initiative order. Uh, oh, there's no Mother! Oh! <coughs> cool. Mother oh. Right Two advantage. Oh no, hang on to that. I need a, uh, can you hand me that pen? That'd be great. Okay. Uh, two success? Two, two success? Did I say a word? I don't even know what's happening right now. Two success, you're set. Yeah, that's perfect, you said a word. So we're rolling our cool? Yeah. Your cool check. So we've got two success so far. You're first right now. Oh, hey, we two. Tied. You guys are both tied. very cool. I am not. So cool. I think it fits my character to not at all be cool about anything. <laughs> okay, how many do you have? I'm sorry. I'm a mechanic. Two. So you guys mechanic are tied. Uh, I need two green. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. No. Hey. Look at any, you know, go watch Josh. trees Ooh. and tell me this mechanics is are cool. Ridiculous. It was actually what? enough of them that I would get one more. Why six. would you get that? No. Because there's there's six uh, I rolled yeah, only for. Right. But they're dumb. That felt inaccurate. That was good. Okay. Well, they definitely got you. Got you drew your gun first. Uh, so I'm actually gonna let you go first. Okay. Because you did get the drop. Everyone <laughs> shoots immediately after this. So <laughs> um, Make it count. So I I I get behind him. I get between him and the guards, and I I hold the blaster to his head, holding mine off to the side, and I say, "Put down your weapons, or he dies." They're trained to kill anyone everywhere. They're too dumb for that. Well, kiss your ass goodbye then. Oh no. <laughs> Don't let go of me and I will. Uh, okay, so you've at least got protection because you're behind this guy. Yes, you, that, you I'm. You shoot him because they open fire immediately. Uh, I'm going to let them do that. Uh, I'm going to let them shoot. So, so okay. I, I'm, I'm taking cover behind his body, so I'm going to let him try to soak. Uh, any of the Excellent. bolts that come my way. Okay, I like it. So uh, my turn, I'm going to open fire on you guys. No, and the green, so there's going to be two troopers target each of you. <laughs> sorry, sorry guys, that was a bit impulsive. But I thought we were going to die right there. It's all good. Um, uh, hey, um, miss. I, I like that. It's That's my Tulane. favorite. Oh, so oh good. Another complete miss Ooh, against nice. the dock. So it's just gunfire just going up everywhere. They're just like, oh. Oh, <laughs> oh. they're in a packed room and they're hitting no one. And we're just like, oh. I was gonna, I was bending down to get my lightsaber anyway. This one's against you finally. Okay. Uh, I feel Char. this is like kind of Keystoney cops where they like shot where I was and I was like, oh my lightsaber. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it just went over. All right, grab those dice back, strike that thing. Okay, so we have. Three successes against Tyler. Normally that would be a pretty good amount of damage, except you've got an entire human body in front of you. So... Uh, <laughs> what is the soak of a human body? <laughs> I don't know, but let's say you take... Let's say you take five and the guy takes five. Okay. You split it in half. That's fine. Okay, so... Uh, oh, yeah! <laughs> Wilhelm scream! <laughs> <laughs> shot up pretty badly there. Uh, mm -hmm. You take five, subtract your soak from that. Okay. Oh, I'm... Tyler, I have an update for you. Bandana oh boy. Man gave you two gaping boosts. Oh! Oh, oh man. That really is a gaping boost. Guys. Yeah, with two. So wait, two, a Chat total of two. Just, 
Chad is or did he gaping. give him a total of two? Right right now. Total of cool, cool, cool. Thank you, Banana Man. Thank you for the donation. Guys. Guys. guys, okay. Uh, so <laughs> it's, they're not stopping firing. The shots are just missing everything. Uh, the shots blow out the lights in the corners of the room. It becomes totally dark except for the strobe like illumination of the ceaseless blasters that are just. <laughs> Mm-hmm. The two of you are tied. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to give it to Tyler to go first. Tyler, what do you do? Oh, no, Tyler, you went. Uh, I gave you the first initiative. Yes, I took I took cover. So, Kelsey, you're up. What does Tin do? Um, I... I better add some battle noises to this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess um, there's six guards in here. S- currently six. Well, let's try to decrease that number, shall we? Let's do that. That's, there we go. A little better. Great. Okay, so what are you going to do? You're attacking... I think there's glass breaking in this room. Yeah. Be very careful where you step. Oh, uh, the light's getting shot ever. out. Oh, um, good call. Okay, I think I'm just going to... Well... <gasps> Keegan is 3981. Mm-hmm. Grants me. No! Oh, Keegan is no! you monster. <laughs> um... How does uh, deflecting with our lightsabers work? Is that just a thing that we get to do? That's not a That's something you get to power, do once you or we can't do that. Yet. Training. Gain access to Jedi training. That makes sense. Um can't do it now. So I will shoot someone. Shoot someone, not get him with the lightsaber. Oh. Interesting. Okay. What are you shooting him with? That's a choice. <laughs> so you reach My past your lightsaber, pistol? grab your blaster pistol, roll your ranged light pew, against pew, there. Pew. This is crazy. <laughs> Right I mean, maybe I should hit it with my lightsaber because there's a lot of bullets. Well, energy bolts. Energy bolts zipping around. around. Up to you. Uh, yeah, I'll use my lightsaber. That's that's probably a smarter thing to do. Um. Okay. So it's up that to you. So that's your um says. your basic uh, brawn or agility skill. Okay. I'll give it two. So your agility's those, probably better. Those aren't. Mm, yes. Be two not, green. Not by a lot. Two green. Okay, against. Uh, would normally be two purple. <clears throat> uh, it's so many people are packed in here right now. I'm going to give you a boost on that. Yes. Because how could you not boost. hit somebody? Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 in such close, close quarters. Wait, close you're. Um, quarters. You have a yellow there, right? Is this yellow? No, for not for lightsaber. lightsaber. Oh, for the lightsaber. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, so you might be slightly more trained at your gun. Uh, however, your I lightsaber, if you hit somebody can. with them, they're down. It was a nice thing about the lightsaber. It cuts through all their armor without even trying. That's right. So it just takes them out. Let's see how this goes. Let's give it a go, guys. Oh, yes. Oh. Yes. Mm. Yeah, Mama. bae. Oh, okay. That's uh, totally two successes. successes. Two successes. It looks really <laughs> more impressive initially <laughs> than canceling. One no. guy, just one of the guys shooting just goes down immediately. Yeah. Falls to the ground. Down to five. Perfect. Celine, you're up. Well, I leaned over to get my lightsaber, and the lights went down. Mm-hmm. And so, and they're shooting indiscriminately in the dark. So I flattened myself on the ground, mm. and I put my lightsaber up, like, under somebody, and turn it on. <laughs> I should ask you to do this as well, Kelsey. What sound does that make? It goes... <laughs> and then it goes like, ow, my nuts! <laughs> we'll see how good your aim was. Uh, so... Uh, I think your agility is higher, so I'll take your agility. It'll be three green. Again, yes. Two purple and a boost you can take on that as well. I'm going to take another boost on that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Because that's what boosts are for. It's for turning oh. on your lightsaber and killing someone. <laughs> bow, bow. Oh, my. Uh, oh, no. Oh, is that yeah. Sass. Well, no. It's no. Not. It is, is there one I can't see? Yeah. Threat. So much advantage, kind of advantage. though. Like five I might advantage. re-roll this. I'm going to okay. re-roll this. Yeah, you can, you can do better than that. I can do better than that. Because you can get a success. You guys can are, <laughs> the <laughs> fact that you guys are untrained at your Jedi's is really coming clear. As you guys are like, yeah, yeah like this. Yeah. <laughs> 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 ah, flailing. Holy crap. Even worse, that is. I missed, yeah. uh, I'm going to use a table re-roll. Wow. You want to upgrade one of those uh, green to a yellow? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Do a thing. I can do that on a reroll. I'm gonna let you this time. Cause you want to update. Yeah, I just like to get more. <laughs> oh, uh, 
No, I'm not going to do that yet. Really? Because uh -oh. we're almost all dark side down yeah, there, aren't we? Isn't that cool? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, that gets no. a success. That's, that's, that's two successes. And, and, an, and an advantage. Oh, and three advantage. Two yeah. successes, three advantage. That which is a critical hit. Describe how your lightsaber cuts through his groin. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just, I hold it underneath him, and I hit the button. Well, and you try three times to hit the button. Yeah, at first I was like, oh, I missed. I <laughs> the dark in my thumb. Hold on. Just just, I think the lightsaber goes and misses his nuts. And you're like, turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like. The guy's like, oh! Guys, <laughs> uh, uh, you may have missed this, but I'm a space doctor. Oh. Uh, and because I'm a space doctor, I, I know. <laughs> Yeah, learn things every day. Yeah. Anatomy intimately. So I really wasn't actually aiming for the nuts. Oh, what were you aiming That for? was just collateral damage. Mm. What I'm really looking for is that femoral artery. Uh, and I just, like, it's just going to, like, cut right through. Oh, and I'm just going to, like, switch, like, a little twist to the wrist, like, comes over and gets both of them. Ooh. So, like, uh. Yeah, he gives you good. Nah! And then, like, Moments like yeah. it's, it's pretty fast. It's Blood done. gushes done. out. <laughs> well, I hate to tell you this, but the lightsaber if I know it cauterizes. Yeah. Well, that ruins that, doesn't it? Then I just switch my wrist and like off goes a leg. Yeah, yeah. Sweet, sweet Wilhelm scream. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, bandana man. Dan the bandana man. Dan the man the bandana man. That's right. Uh, donate. Uh, a re-roll to the table. Nice. Don't forget you guys have a triumph still sitting at the table. And right. a flashback. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Or more triumphs. I'm kind yeah. of thinking the flashback. Going. Cut through that guy. He's down. Back to the top of the order. You are up, Tyler. Okay. The guy you're holding has gone limp. He's gone limp? But oh, he okay. still can absorb bullets with his body, can mm -hmm. he not? <laughs> yeah. You don't have um, to be alive to be a four shield. Four guards left. Four guards left. All right. Yes, because they killed. Yeah, yeah. Um, the old cut in the middle is just going, run, huh? <laughs> oh, no, this is, I remember doing this. That's um, right. It was the assassins trying to get my brother again. <laughs> 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 oh, and he starts punching the air and just like flopping around. <laughs> now we really have to make sure everyone in this room dies. Must be so a they memory. Get well, um, sort of separated from my lightsaber. Uh, and what did I don't you know, do with your I, I put it on the ground. Oh, gotcha. I threw it on the ground. Oh, um, right, right. So I'm just gonna have to. I guess I'm just gonna have to blaster uh, these guys. Uh, so, so uh, still, still oh, holding him. I'm sorry, Bandana Man donated not just a reroll, a table reroll. So oh. Oh. one for each person. Oh my oh, gosh, Bandana snaps. Man. Bandana we really needed this. Bandana 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 okay, because um, I think we're past the point of diplomacy now. Uh, so I'm going to uh, open fire with my blaster. I'm going to drop my goggles down. This move, uh, yeah, which you can see everything nice highlights and thing in infrared, uh, so I don't have to worry about low light. Uh, and uh, take aim at the nearest uh, guard. Roll up your ranged light. Okay. Uh, this is going to be two purple black setbacks because there's so much stuff in your way to try and shoot something. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Okay. Um, and I'll spend, so I'll spend a dark side point to turn one of those purple into a red. Oh, devil, take man. a boost. Ooh, devil. <laughs> um, into a red, and I will take I will take a boost, which I gave to you. Okay. Um, yeah, well, that was good. It's a, a slight, uh, slight advantage to this roll. Feeling pretty confident. Roll know. it up, roll it up. I don't oh, see what could go wrong. Mm, nothing. Yeah! And you were right. You guys Long are rolling non-stop triumphs. Yeah. Triumph counts as a success. Uh, so that's, success, so right? that's uh, two success, two advantage. Yeah, triumph counts two as a advantage. success. Two advantage? And a triumph. Uh, it's a holdout, so it doesn't crit, but. Um, two success, but a triumph. two advantage, and a triumph. And so a, oh, a full sweep. Triumph, of that yeah, one. This is insane to me. Okay, so. <laughs> I know. Sweet I'm rolling hot tonight. Me. This is with the oh, blaster. Smokes. So you hit the guy. Uh huh. Something advantageous happens, putting you off in a better position than you were, and then something triumphant happens that just yes. carries the day. Mm -hmm. um, I imagine what happens is uh, it, it's it's that uh, it's that famous urban legend, which is actually true. My blaster bolt goes into the guy's into the barrel of the guy's blaster <gasps> and, and blows it up <clears throat> as it as it travels down the barrel. And then this little tiny hold that blaster bolt goes. 
and there's an explosion uh, as the blaster uh, uh, explodes on his side. Yeah. Uh, possibly taking him out and possibly one other guy. I think that works. Takes yeah. two guys out with one shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're blown back against the walls. Because uh, I roll hot. You do. You roll hot. Two guards left. They go now. Uh, oh, I have a lot of steam left. Uh, I think they're both going to turn their gun fire on you. Oh, no. Sure. No. no. Uh, you guys all have lightsabers, and you're you're terrifying. You're all terrifying. So let's do both on Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's time to pay the price. Okay, here we go. Oh, a miss? Did yay. you get that for the second shot? Woo. There's fewer of them now, so they don't roll as good. Oh, and another miss. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> These are the worst guards in the world. No, you're probably ducking and weaving with your oh, we're so, oh, yeah. spells. And spells. We are awesome. Yeah, I can see and they can't. Just <laughs> shooting wildly. Mm -hmm. uh, there's just the two of them just <laughs> opening fire like they're trying to hit the predator and missing everything. <laughs> Kelsey, you're up. Okay. Uh, Kill them both. You do the chopper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we still got two guys left up, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go after him with my lightsaber. Okay, give me that roll. Good choice. So it'll be your two green again against just two purple at this point. All right, and I'm gonna gently boost that. Gently Ooh. boost it. Make it for quad. Uh, I'm going to spend a dark side point to upgrade one of those purple to a red just for fun. Demon. <gasps> He's freaking out as you come towards him. But you can see the adrenaline is surging him in a wild way. I imagine I look sort of like alien-esque in the like flashing strobe lights with my like my left. It's almost totally you know, dark uh, now. The only way it's lit because the not many people have shooting. Oh hell yeah! This is good. You this is good. You crush him even with that red on there. Yeah. All that the room's really illuminated by right now are two lightsabers. This guy just shooting as you come closer oh, and closer yeah. towards him. This looks so cinematic and oh. sexy. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. hit. Absolutely, you hit with that. Uh, describe that where you hit him, what you do to him. All right, so as he's terrified and trying to shoot me as I slowly walk <coughs> toward him in, mm -hmm. in this dimly Slow motion. lit room like, as his friends like, are <laughs> collapsing next to him, uh, I, with one flick of my lightsaber, cut off both of his hands that are holding his gun, letting Still him... shooting as a <laughs> yeah, letting him then... Uh, terrifyingly stare into my eyes for a brief moment ah! before my lightsaber plunges into his heart. And Would you say well, that You've been that avoiding really fun. brutally killing people until this moment. It's true. Maybe Would you I say that, do that? that... No, I'll cut both of his hands off and then uh, <laughs> no. still, because I need his gun out of his hands. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you could, and then he's incapacitated at that you point. You could always like cut through his gun. <clears throat> sure. It, it, yeah, so it'll be like a, it'll be like a, like a like lightsaber. a back, like a back and forth, you know, okay. the, the lightsaber. I'm not, <laughs> it'll never work again. Super, <laughs> super good at this. <laughs> okay, so you, you're, you're slicing his gun up, or you're cutting his hands off? Uh, yeah, I'll slice, I'll slice the Space. barrel of the gun off. Yeah. And then one of his hands might come with the other one. But <laughs> yeah. Accidental, not intentional. <laughs> He's done. Yeah, it falls back to the ground, screaming and clutching his stump. That's very thematic, it's though. Not, that Please. bad. You can. We live. This is a universe in which they can replace hands. Right. If you can afford it. <laughs> yeah. If you think the yeah, huts, Skywalker money. The huts give out good. Uh, There's always dollars like myself in strange corners good of the insurance. universe putting crap hands on yeah. people all yeah, the time. Yeah, for sure. Well, we're out of the good cyborg yeah, like, hands, but here's a big crab hand. Woo! <laughs> 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 Yeah. It works. It picks stuff up. What else do you want? Yeah. Bockler, one guard left. Everyone else is writhing around on the ground or totally shut down. God, that was amazing. What we did. we just Jedi these guys. We did know, right? like a, like real Jedi. Well, there's uh, one guy left. I'm still on the ground. So what I'm gonna do is He's I'm gonna roll up over to the him. Wall, going for the comm panel, wherever it is. Yeah, yeah. You can barely see it. It's so what dark. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off my lightsaber, roll over under him. Your purple lightsaber. Him. Purple. Uh, mm -hmm. Do like I think a. We're both purple. What's yours? I was. That's right. You have the windy. Mm -hmm. Yours is red. We Hot pink. Hot pink. Oh, nice. Ah. You turn off your hot pink lights. I turn it off. <laughs> and I roll He's over for the calm, on so. the ground towards him. It's towards the calm. And then I do like a break dancing move because guy is in my youth. Yeah. You know. We all so I, like, I do like a windmilly with my legs to take him out. And then when he's down, I just turn my lights <laughs> back on into his brain. <laughs> is what I want to do. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. Hey, thanks for the Yucko follow. Yucko the Clown. Yucko the Clown. Oh, dude. 
Thank God we got the Yucko. Yucko the Clown the 1 clown. was taken. Mm -hmm. Not for kids' parties. <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely okay. not. Okay, lightsaber this guy up. Yep. Uh, just two purple, because that was awesome. Take us boost, because it just sounded really cool. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. I'm this not going to do anything else. Get him. We're going to go ahead and get another boost in that. Boost. Boost. Just, just, boost. just to make sure. He's going for the pedal. Grab that. Grab that. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That gets a, that's Close. all you need. A nick is a, all you need with a lightsaber. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wheel in my. <laughs> <laughs> roll over. Car do the wheel legs. thing with my legs because I'm super cool. Down it comes. I look over at him. I look into his eyes for just a second. Mm. <laughs> oh, nice. That's <laughs> <laughs> the ground. Bowels void. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, uh, you can't really tell, though, because it already smells that way. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, it smells a little better now. It's kind of the no country for old men, right? Didn't he have that? The little, uh, the little steer oh, the, killer thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the lightsaber version. The, the of weapon made from compressed. Except yeah, the lightsaber just comes out the other end. <laughs> <laughs> and then goes right back in. <laughs> Well, falls down. Okay. It's dark, except for, well, I guess you have your lightsaber out still, so it's purple. And I, and I can see. It's suddenly much quieter. All the guns have shot. Yeah, you can see. You have infrared, right? Yeah. Great. So you it's, see. I think it's low light, but yeah. Do you think low plan light. A has been ruined? Um. <laughs> uh, you were picking up the quickly fading signatures. With your infrared, you definitely see where like the lightsabers have like slashed the wall and stuff are still like glowing red right. and like cooling down. Uh, and interestingly enough, you see the German guy in the corner still alive. Mm. Uh, you pick up on him as he's trying to like he's just scooting himself back towards the wall. Run to him quickly and grab him Ugh. and scoop him up. Yeah. Like, take us to the calm room, or take us to the uh, uh, bridge. Wait, what? Take us to the bridge. What about two Whap! <laughs> to the bridge! You know where it is. Those are real, real lightsabers. Are you Jedi? Are they real? <laughs> yes. The stories? Yes. All of oh, them yeah. are Jedi. It's sure. true, the stories? Everything is true. Everything Which you've read, stories everything are you talking believed. about? Are they stories of like people using lightsabers to like cut weeds and flowers and stuff? Because those are not true. Whoa! <laughs> it's lightsabers using it to kill anyone who crosses the nose. It's true! <laughs> okay, okay, I'll bring them to the bridge just... Don't hurt me. And give me your compad. Take it, please. Just don't cut my hands off in that brutal way or something. Or maybe Just it's a that. Go uh, ahead. quick interlude. The Bard 1971 heals Talene for two health. Hey! What? Those guys didn't even touch you. Those guys they were clowns. Not. You completely jedi They jedi the room. It was, was pretty that awesome. That so good. That puts me at 11, They did touch correct? me a little, but... Those lightsabers are much? barely... Yes, barely. Thank you. Doesn't even count. Yeah. Thank you very much. Teach for sure. scratch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took it to the bridge, but what's you, what, what, what are you trying to that do? That is our business. Uh, Take us. What do you the think? You're, you're going to fly the ship out of here? Yeah. Yes. What kind of. Fly the ship out of here. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Fly the ship. Come well, on. Just... Listen to me. I have very much experience dealing with the huts. Perhaps. Perhaps. We can be of some service to each other. I know all about the huts. No, no service to anybody. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so we have a hut. I am a slave just like all of you. <laughs> <laughs> I did sense good in you. Wait, what? You, what? Yeah, totally. Good guy. <laughs> <laughs> that, he says, pointing to the hut, who's going, <laughs> <laughs> Good <laughs> assassin. That's right. Well this done. is a good memory I had well of me done. doing this to you. Remember when we did this 15 years ago, my friends? Yeah, yes, we This did. was oh, a good time we used to have. We did. Oh, you burp. were so mighty, Burp. That, that is Lugo the Hut, is it not? Yeah, he yeah. goes by Burp now. Yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> but he should, do you understand? Very powerful Hut. They <sighs> thought he was dead back on home, Burp. Yeah, looks like somebody's overstepping their bounds here on Jeddah. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's super powerful. If you want to protect your planet, I'll tell you this much now. I have been with Bumpu to many planets. He has many slaves. They are beautiful slaves. However, okay. <laughs> right. 
Because that, that, yeah. that makes it, what, that makes it a good thing? Stop. I don't know what it is. Why, why are the slaves' looks important? <laughs> are you objectifying the slaves? Hold on. Yeah, I'm objectifying the slaves. Little bit. Matters yeah, uh, that they're beautiful. Yeah. They're beautiful on the inside and outside. The beautiful. That's creepier. That's <laughs> creepier. Yeah. Stop talking about slaves? what the slaves are slaves? like. Slaves? But why? But okay, no, I'll, I'll, st I'll stow it for a moment. Uh, <laughs> listen, the huts, yeah, you, you can stop them, take it on one ship. Sure, many planets managed to maybe take down one ship, but the huts have many ships, yeah? They don't stop just because they lost one ship. You want to save Jetta, there's only one way to do it. You need to buy it from the huts. That is the only thing they respect. I have a little song I prepared about exactly what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you make about everything with songs. And Damn. montage. That was perfectly timed. This has to be a dance song. This way, this is, in this montage, we have a car wash. We have a big thing. <laughs> Raising money to buy Jetta. <laughs> You're be like, yeah. <laughs> You're feeling it. And then Lila, and like, we end on a high five, freeze frame. And then it scrolls back to this. Yeah. You need to go to Nahata itself and negotiate the sale of Jetta to you if you wish to protect it. The huts believe it is theirs now. But you know how we get there is in this ship, isn't it? Yeah, it's true, but Bumpo will never let you take it. <laughs> That's funny. Let us do it. <laughs> That's cute. Exactly. Oh, no. So what here I recommend is... Killing him? Yeah, yeah, with my help. What? Yeah, I uh, I can bring you to meet him. Uh huh. That would be good. Yeah. Uh, you guys. You come in and you finish. This him. might seem really out of character, but I don't trust him at all. No. Don't He's trust out to me. The sweet this is a trap. German man, spy, space German <coughs> from Sorry. planet of space Germany. No, what are you doing with your hands? Are you? you... Yeah, I, I'm gonna probe his mind. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Worked before. So it's a minimum of. Three oh more my gosh, you are three headed. More conflict points. No. You don't even. You're not even trying to avoid the dark side. You're like, you know where I belong? The dark side. Does the seek ability also include? Because I know that it's like, um, it's like cunning and instinct based. So can you? It's it's not as sense as the ability to get into people's brains. Seek can't, is like, more of an external. Their like motivation. Seek wouldn't let, seek wouldn't help you with that. Seek okay. is more material and external world, and sense is more internal world. Okay. It's like seek is like sense for the external. World. Gotcha. I don't know if okay. that makes sense or not, but I just wanted to make sure. It'll be at least three three threat to do it. <coughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, no, I can help you out. But listen, here's the thing. I help you to see Bumpu. If you can finish him off, I know all the hot protocols. We we get we we, we get Lugo. He goes. Burr! Okay, whoever. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can maneuver things and get you guys into Nahata in style. And then from there, we create some real havoc. We can position you as Shadow Lords of Nahata. Yeah? By, we don't have to stop at owning one planet. This is all I'm saying. <laughs> Many Ooh, planets, maybe beyond. This is sounding very good. Um, so is it the force power the sure. influence one that <laughs> sense can see with the Join or sense? <laughs> if you want to train into the brain, it's Kill sense. The huts. Um, so so yeah, I I I am I'm not going to try to Do manipulate his mind. I am going to attempt to uh, uh, determine if there is an ounce of deception within him. Oh uh, yeah. So I'll save you some time. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm on this as the day is long. Okay. Right. So, yeah, I, I could do that. It's just like, oh, okay. are, that are you lying? Six six but long. That sounds good. So I'm, I'm not actually need, going to, to force need... power. Oh. It's, he believes that I'm a Jedi. Oh. So oh, you're screwed this, this is more. I guess this is more of a deception. Gosh, this is a de uh, uh, than anything you're else. trying to read him, huh? Yeah. There's a great skill for that, and it might be deception. Sorry, can I take a look? Oh, yeah, please. Look? <laughs> uh, it's a very good character sheet. Yeah, let's go with, let's go with, yeah, if you can pass a, I think normally I would take like a, 
Yeah, let's go. Go for deception. Okay. We'll do an opposed deception check. All right. Uh, I will give you, so take two boosts on it mm -hmm. at the gate because he does think you're a Jedi. Right. However, you're opposed by, this guy's like a major domo mm -hmm. of a hut. So, he'd have an upgrade to that. It's going to be against three red. Three Ooh. red. Three red? Yeah. All right, man. We have a table triumph. We do. Oh, damn. <gasps> Flashback. Yeah, no, you can, you can trust me implicitly. I'll prove it to you. Uh, hand me that lightsaber for a moment. I'll show you how much I trust. Wait a minute. What? Yeah, okay, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> don't see much, I look a little bit bothers to me. <clears throat> yeah? It's raining like dogs and cats in here, no? <laughs> if you lie to me, mm -hmm. I'm going to know. I have magic force powers. Beyond your greatest imagination. Okay, let's go. Let's go roll it up. Yeah. Let's see if I believe you or Where's not. Your What's reds. that? Reds. Oh, oh, sorry. It's uh, yeah, up against three reds. Oh, you'll need um, more. We need. We need more reds. We don't even have enough dice for our difficulty. <laughs> I'll let you borrow a red. Okay. That's horrifying. Um, why don't I loop the doom? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doom? Mm -hmm. Yeah, give myself a doom here. Okay, so you're upgrading um, your roll. Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade my roll. I mean. Mm, okay. oh, I never ask people for a good cheers. Normally, them. I go for a cheer, uh, some sort of cheers when we flip one, but forget oh. it for we now. forgot. We yeah, we forgot, forgot it the, the entire time. time. So um. Start it at the end. Is our toast. <laughs> <laughs> that is my DMing style. Yeah. Okay. Got um, yeah, let's. See. I mean, the, I, I, I'm not oh. sure how much his eyes are darting side to side as he closes. How oh, much yeah. armor to put into this? Because I don't know if. I mean, he may just be telling the truth, in which case it's wasted. But I don't even want to look. I can't look. I cannot look. Okay, no despairs. No despairs. And for that's once, actually you didn't roll a, a threat. That that's is a success. a success. Yeah. Wow. So what? This. Oops, wow. Did I, I? I messed up, didn't I? And. Yeah, those two Don't cancel out, but you still have this success here. And you have here. two threat on it. Mm hmm Okay. With. Oh. Well, yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. two threat. Right. Two threat. Okay. Oh, so my you, gosh. Sense, okay, you, you do totally see right through him. You can see that he. Uh, he's, he's a deceitful man. Okay. Of course, this guy's this guy's a wormy bastard. However, mm -hmm. it does seem like he's totally telling the truth. But but he, tell, he, he seems one. He's telling the truth because he seems like oh he's bargaining for his life. Mm -hmm. He just saw you cut down a room full of men without being touched. That's pretty good. So you can tell he's bargaining for his life, and uh, that seems to be his, his main motivation here. Yeah, but he so, does seem so, to be. He seems to be telling the truth that yeah, this could this could all work out. Self preservation. Self preservation is where he is at. Yes. So if I've a, seen this before. If there's a moment where he feels like he doesn't need to be on our side to live. He will not be on our side anymore. Yeah. We'll just have to not give him that opportunity. Let's just spend the next uh, few days pointing our lightsabers at his head with our thumbs <laughs> on the trigger. <laughs> Look, look, yeah, no, I mean, listen, it's a cutthroat world out here for the huts. I know how it is. Yeah, I wasn't always with Bumpu, and mm -hmm. I, honestly, it's been a while. It's time to make a step up. I like the way you guys look. You have a beautiful style. <laughs> what is with you? I you look beautiful. What's wrong with being beautiful? Everyone's beautiful. You're darling, and you're beautiful to <laughs> you me. You think everyone looks beautiful because you live with huts, and they're just repulsively disgusting. That's true. Oh, no, they're not so bad. Come now, don't be like that. I can't believe anything you they say now. They have their charms. Just they have their charms. Listen, have I slept with some huts to get ahead? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know how to I've react. I've done lots of things. Right Listen, it's huts, baby. It's, it's Chinatown, you know. It's, it's space right. Chinatown. Space oh China, space town. We uh, need you to tell. I need you too, honey. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Unless I don't you think I'm your kidding. type. Um, <clears throat> I need you. Why not, you old ladies? <laughs> ladies? Mm -hmm. Wasn't the vibe I was getting. Uh, I need you to tell your boss yeah. that mm -hmm. Ludo the Hutt wants to meet with him alone. Okay, so but you don't want to go with him? What? No. Tell your boss to come alone because Ludo the Hutt wants to meet him. Okay. And then we will take care of your boss. Yeah, okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, let's me do the calm thing. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> yeah, okay. We had a quick... You get like the... <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. I talked to Tim. He's very suspicious. I'm going to tell you that right now. Okay. He's very suspicious of what's going on. 
they're wondering why they can't see the cameras in the room and what's going on and what happens with all the guards. Mm -hmm. I smooth things over. <laughs> Little bit. Really he trusts sure. me very much. I would hope so. You're going to invite one on one out into this private chambers. Um, okay. You can go in. You won't, you won't be scanned for your weapons. I've con confirmed that they confiscated everything. Okay. Okay. You pick up your, pick up your stuff. What's that? Your oh, stuff. yes. I, I rearm myself. Hey, can you use these data pads to real quick ha hack the computer here and see if there's anything that we want to know? <laughs> Let's see. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Computer check. What are you What are you looking for? I'm, I'm thinking of like communications. Besides what he said, like any communications going on between anyone else that would indicate that they don't believe. Like monitor his phone call. Like no, like hmm. so, like basically, like as soon as he hangs up with Bumpo, does Bumpo immediately call down to the guard shack and be like, "Send me twenty dudes." Oh, yeah. Okay. Roll it. Uh, yeah, that sounds fair. Roll that up. Computers check. Uh, and throw two purple on that. Because you need to be difficult. Yeah. And you made yeah. it. No problem. You succeeded at everything, Kelsey. And yeah. that. So just a success. Just a just plain old boring success. success. Okay. <laughs> Good thinking. Uh, doesn't look like any calls were going through, but you do see that there's some external lines from the hut's chambers. And you can just kind of flip a switch and turn it off so he's not going to be able to call for outside. Yes. Shut down the communication line. This is good. I'm starting to trust you. Okay, mm -hmm. we're not... This is good. I don't think you're out to get me. We're not going to have guy. a whole lot of time. All right? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to do this? Uh, yes. Huts are hard to kill. All right. That's why we have lightsabers. Well, I'm going to say, I'm going to tell Ludo. Oh, sorry, Burp. Um, <coughs> burp. <laughs> burp. This is an insurrection. <laughs> you are taking command of this ship. Yeah, that's my ship. You tell your nephew to submit to your power. Yeah. Or he will be killed. Do you understand? This all makes sense. Are you sure? Wait, kill my nephew? If he does not submit to your power, right, he has to be taken out. I'm the You're one wearing the tablecloth in this family. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, exactly. guys. Exactly. All right. Through the gilded doors into a <laughs> turbo lift that goes, psh, psh, takes you guys up towards the uppermost levels of the ship. I keep my I keep my blaster in my hand, but concealed um, in uh, in uh, what's his face's back. Just you know. Yeah, you never asked my name. Oh, Me? Oh. I'm I'm hurt. A little bit. Hurt? Oh. Yeah. That's your name. Hurt. Ugh. <laughs> All right. So let's, literal. Let's go, her. <laughs> okay. Jeez. What can we call you, slave? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fine, too. Yeah, call me slave. <laughs> I <laughs> like it. All right. Let's, I'm not, sure, I'm, let's not call him that, though. Yeah, don't, slave. Okay. Uh, outside of the lift, doors open. In front of you. The hut's private chamber. Overhead, beautiful star. Or I guess it wouldn't be Starfield because you're not in space. Overhead, the sky. Uh, it's been quite a while, so I guess the sun is starting to set. Mm. Beautiful Jedin sunset. Jedin sunsets coming out. There's nothing like it. I mean, <laughs> it is. It's like it it's mingles sphere. with a lava glow. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, yes, the all, lava all glow. All the particles in the atmosphere. Yeah. Exactly. The, uh, the the fields of Kyber. The more polluted it is, the more beautiful the colors. It's true. They go overhead. Yeah, the light, kind of the last rays of light, strike just Kyber shards that are still in space and glitter down. Pretty gorgeous, beautiful view. The entire, almost, most of this room has this transparent steel canopy you guys can look out through. The room itself, bubbling mud bath. Oh, naturally. That stretches out about 100 feet long. It gets kind of a big obloid, almost that wide. Wait, the whole thing is a mud bath? Yeah. There's not a mud bath in this. But like, to enter this room, we enter a mud bath? Yeah, that's correct. Oh, the room it. seems to be... How deep is this mud bath? Uh, there's a ramp that you guys kind of come down. Let's <laughs> see. Feels good. Yeah, I gotta pull up a couple mud bath tunes. Oh my gosh! <laughs> mud bath uh, tune. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So it's basically you 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 enter the room. Door shut behind you as you guys come in. You were leading the German guy in with you. Um, I'm. Uh, well, I, I think Ludo is. Sorry, Burp is taking the lead. 
Yeah. Um, and I am I am with the German guy. Okay, uh, just taking the lead. Yeah, with my blaster pressed to his back. Okay. Um, but like kind of standing like you can't really see that there's a blaster in his back. Mm -hmm. At least not at first. You know, kind of masking it. Okay. Making sure good. that he knows no funny business. Hey, that's money. There's some animals in this mud bath. Yeah. Snacks for later. Because the walls above the mud bath, so it's just kind of like, it looks like bath water except brown. It's a little thicker. It is bubbling constantly. If you thought it smelled like farts before, it. This is the source of all the farts mouth throughout the ship. Oh, oh the that's not mud. Bubbling up. <laughs> bloop, bloop, bloop. At the far end of the room. There's a theme to this adventure. Two thir like, right? Kind of two thirds covered by the water is the reclining body of Bumpo the Hides. You can see a bit of his tail, his body just kind of breaking the surface here, and they're just lounging back. Again, about 100 feet away from you on the far end. Like rivulets of muddy water dripping down from his head, just clearly luxuriating all the time. This mud bath. The walls stretching all the way around him out to you guys. So the mud goes all the way to the edges, and then it's like jungly kind of vines and stuff like that coming down it. Uh, little insects and, and uh, lizards scampering about, and probably a cool looking lizard monkey or two. <laughs> scampering about in there. Yep. Why wouldn't there be? <laughs> yeah. Huts really think those things are funny. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Great source of amusement. A cam droid. Ooh, like one of the ones floating around in there. This is clearly what he's been giving his broadcasts from. Mm -hmm. Into his giant screen. It's about the size of a cooler. Got Wait, this is a broadcasting one or a, a viewing? Like, is, is it, are we being it's surveilled a, by it? It would be a broadcasting one, I guess. There's probably a viewing screen underneath it as well. Okay. Says the uh, bump of the hut regarding you guys as you come in. Mm -hmm. Burp leading the way, flopping forward into the. It's kind of like a ramp yeah, that yeah. leads down into the. Is he slump. enjoying this mud bath? Is like this like helping move better? A little bit, but no, I'm not enjoying it. <laughs> this is my mud bath. Solid, yes, I know you're surprised to see me, nephew. Thought I was dead, did you? When you sent your ninja assassin squad <laughs> that we cut to pieces a hundred years ago, 15 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my potent lieutenant who I trust with my life, who I have no memories of prior to today. <laughs> That's how good they are. That's how good they are. We demand that one. What do we demand? <laughs> He's just turning around looking at you. We're killing him? No. <laughs> demand that he surrender his ship and submit to your will. We demand that you surrender your ship. Submit to my will. To your power will. My power. And bring all of your tablecloths <laughs> to me at once. Honestly, we don't need any tablecloths. Just let him have the Just tablecloths. Just let him the have ship the damn has a lot of tablecloths. Oh, no, I know you're my most trusted lieutenant, okay. but. Yeah. Trust me on the tablecloth. <laughs> you know what? Tablecloth. <coughs> he starts flopping his way into the room. And Bumpo the Hood's looking around. Uh, you've got the German guy as well? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, I, I guess. No, it's, yeah, it's, it's fine, it's fine, my lord. Uh, 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 I'm so sorry, but we, they, they, I had no choice. I hope you understand. Uh, Oh, so he's revealed it. <laughs> that we are, okay. So are we in combat then? I don't know. He hasn't done anything yet. Okay, so quick question. How many entrances or exits does this room have? Just the one that you guys came through. Did it close behind us? It did close behind you. I'm going to walk over to the control panel. Can I ring this door to not be able to open again? Yeah. So that no more guards can come into this room? Hmm. Yes, you can do that. All right. All right, so you go over and, and start screwing up the panel? Yeah. Bump who starts <laughs> looks like... Do I hate it when you do this? He submerges his hand in the water and walks around with something. Oh, great. some sort of switch. 
mm. and a waterfall, the wall behind him. So these walls go up maybe 20 feet or so. Some sluice opens up, and more filthy, muddy water starts pouring into the room. Oh, great. <laughs> so a, all right, this is some kind of The shine. mud around you guys, the muddy water begins to rise quickly. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, so I... I'm gonna take out my uh, lightsaber and I'm gonna bazoom it. Like a bazoom. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm gonna. Start running through the water? Start uh, running through the water. It quickly gets extremely deep. As you come, you go you go forward about 15 feet I'm and you're start up to your shoulders. I'm gonna start through the water. With your lightsaber. Holding my lightsaber up out of the water because I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with this thing. So you start to go. <laughs> Just paddling the lightsaber. <laughs> Just bump the, as, as he begins to lift up out of the water. Oh, crap. He's and you got can see, he was on, he must have been sitting on some sort of hover platform. Oh, my gosh. Like the type that Java was laying on, except with three pulsars under it. Ah. And the muddy water starts to spill off of him as it floats up out of the water on the floor, up towards the transparent steel ceiling. <laughs> and the oh muddy water gosh. continues to flow in until he's up above, essentially leaving you guys in a room that's quickly filling with water. Ah. Very deep. You guys can feel that the ramp that you're standing on begins to slide back, getting steeper as it slides against the wall, leaving you guys treading water mm -hmm. in this room that's getting deeper and deeper with muddy water. Nowhere um, to stand. The, the, there's vines on the wall that we can climb, yeah? Yes, there are vines on the wall, 100%. Okay. Um, so, so now we're in combat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, when do we get to do stuff? Right now, sir. Okay. This is this is it. Um, cool or vigilance? I'll take, uh, well, you guys were ready for it, so I'll take either in this case. Okay. Then I want some vigilance. Roll it up. So you're swimming halfway out into the water. You're at the doors. Mm -hmm. Mother effort! Do you want to be there still after I described all this other stuff, or would you stop and um, change that? I would have stopped and probably immediately focused in on this hoverboard. Okay. Gotcha. So you stop. You focus on this thing. Yeah. Yeah. You and probably I'm like, not see anything. How can that I cool. disable that? That's an excellent question. Uh, and you would have been where? Uh, You've got the gun in the guy's. No, not in the guy's back. Yes. It wasn't his back. It was kind yeah. of concealed though. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, exactly. It, it was dug into the guy's back. Oh. 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 But it's getting the water. As the ramp goes down in the water deep, and you guys find that you have to start swimming to good permission mm -hmm. to swim. My whole running slash <laughs> with my lightsaber swim like yeah. got me like four feet out. You're about you're ten to fifteen feet out. I got ten to fifteen feet. Yeah, in front of these guys. Okay. Nice. Ten to um, fifteen feet out. Yeah. Save yourself. Okay. I can swim now. Yeah. <laughs> and and, and uh, what was his name? Burp? Burp. 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 Lugo. Mm -hmm. Just there going, I don't know the thing about that. And the water's just cl <laughs> climbing up <laughs> his body as he's not yet. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Um, did you roll? Did you guys roll? I have not rolled yet. No, yeah. Roll it up first. Okay. Did I, I, I want to compliment you on your excellent hut laugh. Oh, I'm glad I was Very excellent. accurate hut I'm laugh. I'm happy to hear that. No, I like that. Still laughing. Yeah. 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 I don't roll my cool. Oh. Oh, one success cool. and four Aww. advantage. I like. Um, I, I got two advantage. I'm going to take one strain to give myself two hits. Hey. For my with a rapid reaction, uh, thing. Ooh. Thing of a jig that I can do. Okay. That's nice. So I'm down to nine strain. Nine. Whoa. You're down with me at the bottom. Wow. Welcome. Okay. Well, that Slow was poke. that was the hut's turn. You gotta go basically before you guys because he's got insane stats. Mm -hmm. You guys are up next, so whichever you guys rolled top. That was you, order? sir. Tyler, and then the two of you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm at the bottom. She, she, she beat me. The German guy, Heiner, looking guy, for everything. Mm -hmm. He has explained uh, that for our insolence to oppose him, he will let us drown here for his amusement. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And um, then he said he'll do things to our bodies, but I'm not going to repeat that. <laughs> uh, I, I respect that. Yeah, it involved cooking us in an unpleasant day. Okay, I will. Um, Move. Use the word gaping a lot. I will move very quickly uh, to the vines on the side of the uh, uh, okay. at the side of the uh, room. Good idea. And pull myself uh, above the water as far as I can. You're doing it. Yeah, take out my blaster. Shy, you're beautiful. And uh, I'm going to shoot his repulsor. Uh, shoot at the repulsor. Shoot actually. at the repulsor. Try to shoot the control unit, uh, or w whatever, whatever okay. I can to disable the repulsor. If there is some sort of yeah, I hear you. Oh, my weakness, an exhaust port, perhaps. 
There might be a weakness. His, well, his hover, yeah. His hover thing. Mm -hmm. uh, how familiar are you with hover platforms? Uh, not at all. Not at all. So I don't know if you know what the weakness is without a successful intelligence check of some sort. Okay. Um, but if you just want to take I a, have a shot at it. No, I'll intelligence. take a perception check on this turn if you want to try. No, no, I do think it would. Yeah. It would be, it would be, a, it would be a pretty hard perception. Could I assist him in knowing where to If you want to make that check independently on your turn or if you want to have him wait until after you've made your check, you could do that. That'd probably be better than assisting him. Okay. Okay. So if you want to make a perception check, it'll be pretty hard. Okay. Because you're just kind of like, ah, uh, a thing I've never seen. <laughs> uh huh. Just I, I know what I know what access panels look like, and I mean I have a, a vague familiarity with with machines, but okay. nothing specific. All right, it'll be. This is far more advanced than what I'm used to. Four purple then. Four perps. Woo. Uh, and this is my perception. This is your perception to spot a weak point, okay, or something like that on this this hover platform. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's do this. Should I boost this? Yeah, boost it. Think so? I only got one boost it's left. It's just a perception, and you yeah. want to save the boost yeah. for like a hit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's okay. let's save my boost. I got three rerolls. Save my mm -hmm. boost. Yeah. See? Oh, okay. Didn't even yeah. need it. All right. These two With a bunch of threat, but yeah. Right, right. Four threat. Yeah. No, we've got you... four threat and two hits. Wow. So you succeeded on that against four purple. Yeah. Yep. Nice, I should have made it even it harder. This is very threatening. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, there is like, sure, yeah, yeah. Maybe you're not familiar with this slide, but uh, mm -hmm. repulsar units, definitely, they tend to generate a lot of heat, so there's like coolant tubes that run into them. Um, so there's probably a coolant tube directly underneath it mm. on the underside that if you could get a shot at it from directly underneath, you could do that. Okay. Yeah. All right. There you go. That's, I think, your turn, though, that... climbing up or not. Yeah, yeah, getting, getting, I mean... Are you trained in perception at all, by the way? I am. Okay, great. I was just, I was just curious about that because you noticed that the, there are things that seem to live in the vines. Oh. As you're on it, you just say you hear some, some leaves start kind of rattling. Oh my around. god. Oh dear. Okay. Kelsey Tallinn, who wants to go next? <laughs> it's Kelsey's uh, next. How, okay. how high out of the slime did you climb? Uh, just just enough to get uh, just enough to get my head and possibly arm above. Oh, because you're just barely out. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Which means you don't have to make, sorry, I should also point out, every turn, if uh, you have to make an athletics check, unless you've managed to, just to be swimming. Ah. If, oh the athletics gosh. checks are going to get harder each turn. Okay. And if you but fail them, you take that much strain as you guys become exhausted from swimming around. So very quickly, this is going to be, you don't have, you're not going to last for long before you Yeah, 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 I caught that. All right. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'll try to kind of cling up on some of the vines, but I'm not going to climb up super high. I'm going to stay pretty down close okay. to where all the stuff is. Um, this viscous brown liquid. Yeah, yeah. you try not to think about mm -hmm. what may <laughs> or may not have passed through the hut's body. Does mm -hmm. the hut have a separate bathroom that he uses, or does he just? No, yeah. they don't. don't. You stop thinking about they it. They don't. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so they're pretty sick. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna try to using my blaster actually. Um, I'm gonna try to shoot the cooling tubes. Yeah, you totally know all um, that stuff you have to. Yeah, about now. I mean, cause I. <laughs> No, it took me an entire I've round to figure them. out. <laughs> no, I've but seen now that you have, I am a mechanic. I would absolutely. Know so you're gonna try and shoot that. Okay, you have to be directly underneath it, so you can't. Oh, okay. Shoot it from the side. You'd have to swim out underneath the thing and then shoot up. Okay. Which you could do on your turn. Now to do that, I think it would take your regular move. I want to use my seek ability. Ooh, that's perfect for this. Oh. You'll still have to be underneath it, that's but fine. so your turn would be swim out. Okay. Swim some more. Mm-hmm. If any, you can always double move on your turns, but you have to spend two strain to do so. Okay. Okay. So um, what if I don't have enough strain to do this? What is your strain at right now? I only have one strain point left. What? what? Brian, do we have her strain at one? Uh, we do now. We do now. Great. Let's <laughs> get that on there. Thanks. Uh, if you don't have enough strain on there, you're going to need some sort of medical check to get your strain back up okay. before you can do that. <sighs> And you can Good thing do you wanna, have a doctor with you. Yeah. Would you shout something out? So you want to, you're, you're breathing so hard. Yeah. You can barely hang on there. What is everyone else's strain at, by the way? My strain is at four. Uh, mine's at nine. Brian, let's make, uh, if you want to update that. I've also what taken is. six Thanks, wounds. Brian. I should have probably told you that before as well. <laughs> I'm not in tip top shape. <laughs> I've no. just been pretending. It's okay. We're all human. You're bloody, Except exhausted, and messed. You can barely hang on to this vines. Oh your hands God. are shaking. Mm -hmm. I'm like, Doc, 
I gotta take this thing down, but I need you to help me out here. I'm running on fumes. Doppler, you're Doppler. swimming. So at the Doppler. start of your turn, I need uh, make just an athletics check yeah, yeah. against one purple. That's all at the start. Oh, I'm not pretty good at athletics. I am. Terrible at. You fail. No. I failed. Oh boy. Great. No. So take one strain. Oh, good. Ooh. Does that mean I can reach her though? Yeah, you reach her regardless. That's just that's just to see if it hurts me real bad. Yeah, you're basically. It's not even like you're swimming through water. You're swimming through quasi quicksand, kind yeah. of. It's tiring to get over there. <sighs> I uh, so I come over and I say, so how long have you been having this problem? Where does it hurt? Other <laughs> doctor questions. Your lightsaber still out? Uh, yeah, oh, yeah right. like my lightsaber's out. It's off. I was just holding okay. it out of the mud. Oh, okay, got Because I don't know how it works. Oh, I see. Okay, so you're swimming <laughs> one hand to cover. Yeah, I was like, okay. The hut is definitely going, oh, 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 oh. I, I get, I, well, I, I get really up there, I it. hold the lightsaber under my chin. <laughs> Not perfect. And I'm like, so tell me where it hurts. How long have you had this complaint? I'm like really out of breath. Uh, I heard being really fast. Uh, okay. Have you been over there to get the thing? Have you been traveling outside the country? You know what we've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> I have to ask these things. This is word flus and stuff. So you can make a regular medicine check and jabber with your stim pack or whatever, or you can use, or and and or you can use the force. I'm gonna have. I don't have a stim pack. Oh, that's right. We didn't. We were. You didn't decide to get. You didn't decide. No, we were reading the. We were reading that more closely. Okay. That's but fine. you know what? I can use the force. Yeah. That is my yeah. thing. You also could use the, the use additional the force tie that's floating around. Yeah. Okay. Can. That sounds great. If you want to heal her just for strain, Trust you. we could turn every success into a heal for a strain. Uh, normally, have... normally it's successes heal wounds and advantage heals strains. Mm. So how about this? We'll, we'll keep that, and then your force points, you can do, divide them up to be okay. hit points or strain as you care. So I'm, I'm doing a medicine check with the force. Is that how I understand this? I, I think so. That makes sense because okay. you have the heal force power, right? Right. Great. Okay. Have you overcome your paranoia to a sufficient degree to want to help her? I said earlier, I but trust she you. she was starting to trust me. Okay, yeah. I would say uh, roll that up against your pretty badly injured right now. Mm -hmm. Take two purple on that. And there's mud all over everything, so take a step back. I'll just boost this. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna boost it, whatever, David. Yeah, do it. All I right, mean, Tom. This is, yeah, okay, Tom. This is Two purple, three green, one yellow, <laughs> a black, a blue, and two Le Force dies. Mm -hmm. Hang on a second, I need to talk to my dice for a minute. Yeah, go ahead. Tell them what's up. She swims yeah. over to you, slaps a muddy hand Ooh, on you. Wow. Oh, That's shit. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Four successes. One, okay, two, three, three successes. four, five, six, seven, actually. Holy smokes. So okay. that's you that six actually. Six. Any advantage? Total six. No. No, but two. one one threat. Two threat. No, sorry, two threat. Two threat. Okay, so the the success heal wounds. Mm -hmm. But that, the force I can use on whichever. Yeah, so that would be advantage. So, so you could I heal three wounds, right? You heal Still. three wounds mm -hmm. and three strain. Okay. okay. A little yeah. bit of a help. That's not bad. You Kelsey, feel where are you at now? I... Getting three to each. Am at, uh, I have taken nine out of 13 strain, and I have taken three wounds out of my 11. So you have eight what and did, four. Do, yeah, eight, eight and four. Yeah, okay. That's better. Yeah. You're good. You're good in there. Feeling great. You're basically full I'm health I'm basically now. better. <laughs> so and then I and so like I do my medicine on you and some of it's like mystical and some of it's like there's some aspirin. <laughs> yeah. <And> I'm like <laughs> Here take these are special aspirin I imbued with energy. I need some cram. Cram! She <laughs> swims over to you. So now you're against the wall where Which she was probably clinging <laughs> onto those vines. Yeah. We delayed on your turn? Yeah. The doc, you're up. Alright. I'm gonna <laughs> You're doing backstroke. Like, backstroke. Oh, right. Backstroke. And I'm like floating. <laughs> Wait. I really recommend that you take it easy for a while. Are the twilights aquatic? I wasn't it. No, no. Oh, this darn. Is. Give me an athletics check first. One purple for this first round. I really feel like an you should be athletics uh, check. Stay in your crate until you feel better. I feel like I should boost my athletics check. So you're going to take two strain automatically just from swimming out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're going to possibly take additional I strain. I just healed you. <laughs> but you waste that heal. Mm -hmm. 
Um, okay, I'm gonna use my last boost for okay. my athletics check because I'm garbage at athletics. Oh yeah. Garbage. Okay. You fail, so take one strain. Or oh, you can reroll it. I just take one strain for failing, though? Yeah, you take just one strain, which would put you down to... One strain left. Great. See, but, like, Ooh. if you lose all your strain... You'll have to make another swim check on your next turn. So if you fail to succeed on that... Do you want me to reroll? Oh, Table? yeah. I would recommend... Table reroll? Yeah, reroll it. Yeah, okay. Let's give you a little more life, because you're not uh, the most sturdy... I'm not the most sturdy. ...of Twi'leks. Not the most sturdy of Twi'leks. Okay. Take one of these. Yeah, three. this guy right here. This is the one that doesn't match for you, David. Thank you. You need to talk to them. Ah, uh, yeah, see, that's Talene. That's a tough, a, that's a the tough right die roll to succeed on. All right, it's fine. So you're down you to one strain. Down to one strain. But that puts you, as you backstroke your way out, and you're like, oh, God, <laughs> it's so hard to stay. Why mm. is it? Is it because I'm wearing all of my clothes and swimming through? Thick scum water. It's got something to do with that, probably. You're tr having trouble keeping up, but you're immediately under the platform. There's the cooling thing right above you. You're shooting at it with your seek skill. Yep. Okay, so you're trying to hit this thing. <coughs> I gotta give if you. If I can make it. Four if purple. If I can hit it to where there's an explosion, that would be better. But if I can even just in, like disable it to where it like it's falls a back down. It's a down, tiny then... cooling vent. It's underneath. I'm going to need four purples of difficulty. I'm going to mm -hmm. spend a dark side point and turn one of those purple into a red. Oi, 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 All right. Hey, boo, boo. Okay. All right. I don't even know what we're doing anymore. Oh, you're going to shoot? What even game is this? light if you're shooting at it. Yeah. Or you take a yellow, take a yellow. Grab another yellow. Okay, yeah. Flip flip one of these. Grab a yellow. So it's a green. Oh, it's two yellow. Green, purple. A and red and my one force die, oh right? My Wait, gosh. can't we use more force? No, you've, you've used them all. Used them all. Yeah. But oh. I have a triumph that I might get to oh, yeah. Oh, okay. This is, and this I have be the a reroll that I might get to you. No, you <laughs> don't. Oh. There's none left. <laughs> we used it all. Uh, yeah, that's a uh, that's right. a success. It's it a is. failure. Don't these no, count as no, oh, those count as success. Yep, it's one one hit. Okay. It absolutely does. It gives you you have to tap into the uh, into dark, side dark side and your obsession. Zero threat. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna say that the obsession that I tap into is my so, deep hatred of the hut because sure. of what we learned about wait a minute, my character's wait a minute, wait a backstory. No. I'm gonna make you reroll that one. Oh, oh devil! Oh my god! Who's that, Kiganis? Yes. You see what you do to us? Reroll the whole thing? Reroll the whole hurts. thing. I think I can so force that into a worse position. Can she, then that means she doesn't take those yet. No, she doesn't take those yet. That's good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh crap. Again. Same thing. So that cancels, right? Uh -huh. yeah. Those count as successes? So it's just still, yeah, except Are you, you have, serious? No, it's exact. Oh, no, you have one threat now. That's it. Oh, that was weak. With but one, it's yeah. also light but side, light side Well, it damn it. Side. Well, then I wish I'd at least made corrupted your soul a little bit, Kelsey. You can't. <laughs> or, or, or She's Haven't the good one. Haven't you learned that you can't? No, instead it's your curiosity. You look up there and, and all the all the weird mechanics and <sighs> schematics you've studied your whole life. And it's kind of like bringing back all these memories of me hiding <laughs> in the walls, messing with all these hut mechanics. And I'm like, that looks familiar. I remember That's this right. now. Oh, yeah. You used to live on this ship? On a hut ship. A hut ship, okay. You hit the cool thing. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the hover things start to fail erratically. I only had one threat on that. The thing started coming down. <laughs> it was getting bucked around. Getting bucked around, and then the whole thing comes crashing down, not right on top of you, but next to you. Big wave of slime. Um, is that one strain? I could. I could you easily could. make that one strain and knock you out. But you instead, just give me a wound. instead, is that the hut lands right. <laughs> the whole platform sinks into the muck, and Bumpu the hut head comes out <laughs> right up right in my next face. To you. Okay. Everyone's gone. So it's his turn. Oh, gosh. Wait a second. Doesn't he have some kind of dis like swimming need to do? Yeah, but he's okay on it. Trust me, he's got a brawn of six. He's, oh, he's oh boy. Uh, and that plays into his brawl skill. 
Oh, oh no. Okay. So as he seizes you, you can feel the massive oh, yeah. strength as he's got you. I'm a, I'm a delicate little thing. Yeah. That's, you're pure. Can you have you're me delicate. three yellow and three green? No. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. I also need three black set back. Goodness gracious. How on earth? And we'll see. I mean, I might die. That's fine. Two purple. No, don't worry, guys. We got two purple here. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. That's a success. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. it's a real big success. Wait, 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 wait. No, wait a minute. No, maybe it's might not. not be. No, it wasn't. Got this guy. Oh. It was not a success. Got these guys cancel, right? Cancels. That cancels. Two eights, right? Guys, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to build suspense. James V, 1971, thank you so much for the awesome donation. Oh, James V. James, James V. Oh, that's, that's going to be. A reroll pack to the table. Oh, oh into the goodness. arms of an angel. Reroll to the table. You need a Plus, Why not we do, do need a website. That's a good question. You can create your own professional website. What is. I need to invest in. Whether you're a small you business owner or... I wish I knew somebody did like an audio pack. Are you a small business owner? You mean owner? like uh, Wes Otis we of no. Playmail Games? This you that's do that for a living? The, actually, you may all not know this, but Wes Otis of Playmail Games does audio for your RPG <sighs> for a living. If somebody uh, could like post a link in the chat. I don't uh, know. That, why? Who, who, who would do that? I, I can't imagine know. anyone is capable of doing that. I'll see. You also included in that is a triumph. Oh, Nelly! Oh, 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 take that triumph. Look at all this stuff. Oh my God. Look at all my. So he failed with three I know, advantage. But it was a close. Great. Okay. So <laughs> he has three advantage on this. So he splashes in. He starts trying to choke you out, but the mud's way slippier than he thought. It's slipping all around in his grip. Three advantage to him, huh? Is that uh, 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 those those creatures in the walls come skittering out? No, three advantage is pretty good. Gosh, what did you have on you? What like on what like gear get your, wise? Get your lightsaber from your hand out. Of, no! As he's slipping around, pulls the lightsaber off into his giant flipper-like grip. Turn it on. Look into it and turn it on. <laughs> Off the walls, guys, those of you who are hanging on the walls, which is the two of you, um, weird beetle things come skittering out with bright colors, and they're no both going to try and sting you guys. Beetle no. things? I need two green. Back off, beetle things. And two purple. Actually, just I think we're just, harder. Just one purple. Oh. Yeah, I think we're harder than that. I think we're more Isn't difficult me? to bite. Because of the mud that's covering the whole us. Thing. Ro Ro and D. We much Tween, you get stung. Get, you're getting, uh, and they come skittering over to you. Their little wings. But just one pop open. Yeah. We're They're covered in mud. Perfect. This is what elephants do to reflect to reject bugs. Hey. Hey. Oh. On Char. I've been stung by <laughs> worse. <laughs> you just slap it and crush it. As it's, yeah. But you, it's just this beautiful little bug with this bright oh, purple you're pretty. shellac. Let me make a space and for then you. its wings pop Ow. open and you can see bright scarlet red underneath and a stinger. But you're like, beetles shouldn't have stingers. Good thing you How much? have some scunch on Two points point. of damage minus your soak. Oh, oh, okay. So you take no damage? No damage. Uh, but regardless of whether or not you take damage, the neurotoxin kicks in. What? They're poisonous. I need a resilience check, two purple, versus taking five wounds. You have got to be. Oh, Nelly. Five wounds. These are what live in the vines. Mm. Yeah. And oh, great. You can see that there's a lot more and possibly worse oh, boy. living in here. Uh, so if you guys spend your round clinging to the vines instead of out trying to you swim. You are killing mm -hmm. me. I'm trying to. Dang. That's a failure. No, it's a trap. Yeah. All right. Thank you, JSV, 1971. And everybody else has contributed to rerolls. You're right. keeping us alive. There is but three of us. We are but three. You oh, see, this is why you talk to your dice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They like it. Kelsey, it works. <laughs> two threat, though, huh? Believe two success, that. two threat. Okay. I'm going to say that uh, it's. What was I rolling for? You. Oh, yeah. So not get toxicated. Yeah. You, it, 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 it gets, gets you, you have to push yourself out from the wall and you're floating out, so I'm going to get your athletics check on your turn. Luckily, That's, you've got a powerful liver, so. 
I do. <laughs> it's, That's what happened. Like, uh, I get, like, the venom ended my blood, but, like, my body was like, this is nothing compared yeah, to normal. This isn't skunch. This is the, skunch. This is weak stuff. <laughs> Whoosh. The, wa- the big waves from where the hut slammed into the water wash out to you guys, pushing you up and down, bobbing you in the water, and you can see Kelsey almost out of sight behind this thing's oh, thrashing God. massive God, body. Okay. Oh, go no, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, I didn't need it, Pampu! I really didn't! <laughs> Do you see the hut like, oh, he's got the lightsaber! Yeah, it's all part of our. We're still buddies, Pampu! He's <laughs> 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 trying to, to turn sides. Um, and then your guys' turn, Tyler. Yours. Yeah, so. So, Char um, recalls a memory from her childhood. Mm. Is, it this um, is it a triumphant memory? Yeah. Triumphant memory. Uh, yes! Okay, so yes, yes. so was. set the okay. scene. You're gonna set the scene, and you're gonna tell us who's in the scene. Okay, and then we're gonna decide who plays those people. Uh, it is a scene with uh, myself uh, and my sister. Okay. Oh, you had a sister. Uh, you yes. did have a sister. I who did visited have a sister. you in a force vision. Even. She has. She visited me in a force vision. She is always with me. Um, mm. uh, being the young rat scallion street rats that we were, um, we were always up to no good. Uh, there is a Cistern in the middle of the city. This cistern? Yonder. A hundred feet, or no, almost 200 feet across? Yeah. Used for all the daily water sources? Yes. That's the one. Because you know what? Why? We got really, really hot one day, and we're like, you know what sounds like a great idea? Let's take a dip in that cistern, because that'll cool us down immediately. Ancient stonework that made yeah. that cistern. The mm-hmm. stones joined it so smoothly. Yeah, so we were we were we were rapscallions. No one really knew, knew uh, how deep that cistern was. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it was it, it was it was uh, uh, this great mystery of our lives. So like, how you old know, were you at the time? Uh, Thirteen. Standing there barefoot on the edge mm-hmm. of the cool stone, looking into that that huge expanse of water. Right. So uh, so we uh, in 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 the night in the nighttime under the cover of darkness. We, uh, my sister and still I, still hot though. Yeah, st- still hot, still oppressive. We are we're caked with mud. We're just like you know what? There's a lot of water. What's one little dip gonna do uh, to the drinking water? What, so, is there, what did your sister say to that? Whichever one of you is his sister. Yeah. So, I think we should just take a quick bath. I mean, there's so much water. We're gonna be yeah. fine. And right? what is your sister's name? Uh, her sister, my sister's it name is, is Kelsey. Kelsey. Uh, uh, oh. oh, um. I don't know. Tall. Tall and yeah. Char. Mm-hmm. Tall and Char. Okay, so a couple so. of troublemakers. Yeah, you know, getting a lot of finger wags. <laughs> um, so, Sorry. yeah, I'm like, you know, what we should do. Why don't we take a little dip in the uh, in the cistern? You and I, sisters in the cistern. What do yeah, you think? The uh-huh. sister cistern. Just get in there, get our get our hair wet. Just get just some of drop this in. Mud off of us. Wouldn't that feel so great? It's so hot today. Yeah, it really is. And it's it's nighttime. So what do you say? We just uh I mean, nobody will see us. Yeah, we'll be real quick. In and out. Boop, boop. Last one there's a rotten egg! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Running through the city streets mm-hmm. at night, reaching yeah. that cool edge of the cistern. There you're standing together, barefoot, looking at the depths, and yeah. then what happens. Standing, it's like, okay, wanna jump in? Count of three? All right, don't be a hut butt and not jump in when I do. Okay, Nerf butt. Nerf Bert. <laughs> Nerf Bert face. Tall always had the better zings. Okay, ready? <laughs> <laughs> One. Two. Three! three! Tall, <laughs> tall jumps. And, I, and, and Char doesn't. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, yeah. Wait, it's just... Oh, oh, uh, 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 uh. She's bobbing up and down. <laughs> how, how, how deep is it? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Uh, Her fingertips barely Oh, this is a bad idea. Barely down. <sighs> okay, let's start and, and... You're telling me this girl who grew up on a desert planet never learned how to swim? <laughs> Weird. <laughs> so, uh, I wasn't expecting you to be this deep, so Char... <laughs> jumps in, grabs her sister. <laughs> Yeah, start, starts trying to drag her up, uh-huh. trying to drag her up, and manages to get her to the surface, but they're gasping, and a guard comes by. Yeah, sure, because this was back when 
uh, Burp the Hut mm -hmm. was still there. Not that anyone ever saw him. No one ever saw the man who came out of the castle up there. The old man. <laughs> Turned out he was a, a Jedi, but no one knew that at the time. Mm -hmm. But he did rule the guard, rule the town through his his various guard forces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is one of them. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the guard is on garrison duty, and he sees the two girls. Get out of there! <coughs> Go on, get out of there! Go <laughs> home. You don't drunk as a tell skunk. Us what to do. <laughs> Apparently, everything. Look, this is the worst. Possible assignment you can get. <laughs> Sister get movie. Uh huh. Out of there. And and the guard raises. You know what? The guard raises uh, a gun mm -hmm. and shoots at you. Oh God! Wait a minute. <laughs> and yeah. Wait a minute! Guns. You're not going to shoot those shields anymore. You says failing. Much slimmer <laughs> back then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eating from a box of bonbons. Oh, these mm -hmm. I I could eat bonbons. Oh, damn. So he's not German. I can eat bonbons all day and I never get fat. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wait a Don't shoot those little girls. Don't shoot those little girls. I'm such a small god. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Did you just give her a bigger gun? It's a stunning gun. Don't worry, when we shoot, oh. and we, and we shoot you and charge. You grab the one on the left, Lord, I'll take the one on the right. Lord Freaks. <gasps> we'll enjoy having two new girls Ooh, that's, for his collection. That's true. That'll get me off this crap shift. All On the right. count of three. Ready? One, we'll two, three! three. <laughs> and it, uh, the girls uh, uh, wait, kick wait. up from a ledge and grab the guards. Wait, the, wait are you in the water still? Yes. Ah. Yes. So, we so yeah, we, we, we were in the water. You guys were pointing, pointing guns yes, down at us. That's right. we, we shoot up, grab the guards. I was pointing a gun. I was, <laughs> no, I was totally. <laughs> Throw oh, them into oh, the water. Oh, oh. Oh, hit water. We scramble out. I pull a drain that is yeah. on the side, and the and the two guys are sucked against the drain. <laughs> and and all of the city's water flows yes. away. <laughs> they, uh, this they, thing is so deep, no one knows how to deep it is. Mm -hmm. It's two hundred feet wide. So they get sucked into the drain, and uh, the they they have that sort of moment where the drain just sort of disembowels them. What? And uh, they get sucked uh, out uh, First through this little First of all, you can't sluice. kill this guy. He gets out. Oh, oh like, yeah. I'm not killing him just horribly. This well, no. he, 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 uh, <laughs> he, he gets He gets sucked in uh, a hole and kind of comes out the other side. That guy gets uh, disemboweled. Yeah, he's definitely like, mm. Balian's getting sucked down first. That sucks. That and he's like, God, help me out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he, had, he had a family. He had two families. One was a secret family. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Right. And so he had to work it's the crappy job yeah. for the secret family. Mm -hmm. And, and failing just got disemboweled a little bit and then screwed up his digestive system, which is why he gained so much weight. He oh. oh. process food effectively. Poor guy. And that does what? So. Uh, Are we out of the flashback? Yes, we're out of the flashback <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> so Cut you Char, remembering. Char is like, God. And so, using her newfound force abilities, mm -hmm. she very rapidly <laughs> motorboats across <laughs> the way. Um, of course, yeah. just like in Star Wars. <laughs> just like in yeah. Star oh, Wars, yeah. Kid, we have to swim really quickly. <laughs> <laughs> force doggy paddles. Uh, she force doggy paddles. Gotcha, motorboating um, your way. Mm -hmm. Like a dolphin. Uh, and Over to where this hut is. Currently yeah. wrenching the lightsaber out of right her hands. Yeah, preparing to shove you into the muck. Takes her lightsaber, goes to the edge of the ship, and breaches the hull beneath the water line. All the way to the so the edge of the mud bath. Yeah. Oh, so you're not even swimming towards the hut. No, I'm swimming behind the hut. <laughs> so I'm going to breach the hull behind the hut, nice. which, which leads out, yeah. and I'm, but I'm gonna reach it below the water line you know so that the I water is have sucked is out. You know what I think should two triumphs? Double triumph this? I think this should have two okay. triumphs. Yeah. And the, the current starts pulling the hut back. Mm -hmm. toward, <laughs> trying to swim, but just mm -hmm. too obese. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ate too much just that day. Yeah. <laughs> Pulled up against that hole that you breached right next to you. Uh huh. <laughs> and I'm gonna towards you. I'm gonna <laughs> swim quickly away using using my force as we'll fast as I can. Dolphining away. I check. Yeah. You definitely get sucked, and you start to hear the suction. I I am getting pulled into. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna make who's gonna make one brutal check against you. Okay. God, it's like Alien Resurrection. Wait. So did we? <laughs> yeah. did, did he just get to do that? Like. Yes. With the double triumphs that you guys just threw on the yeah. board there. Yeah. yeah, he's the hut is getting disemboweled. Wait, that would be a triple triumph. 
Hmm? Did you throw a triple triumph? She was going to throw one of her triumphs on there. Oh, is that a, is that the a two? The flashback was a triumph. Flashback oh, was a table oh, triumph. Oh, oh, I thought we were. Mm -hmm. Hang on to yours. You got plenty. This okay. is this is just to see. How much it hurts him? I think it was one if purple, I can get right? away. Two oh. purple. This is to see, yes, how. And oh green. my gosh. Ah! <laughs> 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 Grabs you as you're about to get away by that motorboating foot. It's <laughs> going to be fine, guys. What in earth oh, is this? No. Oh my god! Okay, hold on. What's that? No, that's I, two hits. These go no, away. I have four. This goes away. Yeah. Yeah. This. No, I succeed. Yeah, you have one yeah. triumph, so you succeed. Oh yeah, yeah, I hate you. <laughs> hey, hey, can we use our table rerolls to make him reroll stuff? Not if there's a triumph on the table. That's on the floor, true. Yeah. Gosh darn it! And I've got some advantage. <laughs> Uh -oh. Grabs you with his massive meaty fist as he's stuck there, and you can start to hear the that, like if you get a thing of fresh beef that has the oh. tissue, you're pulling it apart to try and get at the fat. Oh. You hear the tissue separating. You, you can just hear it as he's pressed up against this thing he came mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. And he puts his massive. He starts trying to force his massive muddy flippers into your mouth. Oh, oh boy! Just trying to pry your head apart. Okay. Uh, I think is what he's going for there. <laughs> he's getting a little bit of what he's going for. I triumphed on it. Great. So we'll crit you. We'll do. I had how many advantage? Three. So it's going to be. Three advantage, yeah. Yeah, okay. So you're going to take eight points of damage. Okay. And then, minus my soak? Minus your soak. And he gets to crit you twice. Twice. Oh boy. Give okay. me, can I get the 2d10? So. As the life drains out of him, he starts just with the one hand forcing your jaw open, and then the other hand closing I get, uh, around your neck. I'm down to three. <sighs> or 90. Uh -oh. oh my gosh. Oh boy. 110. I've been right, taking you've two already points. got. Yeah. Oh, you already have two? Yep. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm finally gonna hurt someone a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. You already had two? I already, I already had two. Yeah, I, I took two hits in the uh, the Lesson. tunnel of death. That's great. <laughs> I love it. There we go. 110? Mm -hmm. Horrific in injury. Grab one of those oh. 1d10s and roll it for me. Okay. Uh, oh. This is to determine which characteristic of yours is permanently reduced until you receive extensive medical healing. Ooh. Nine. Oh. Ooh, I like that one. Uh, you're cunning. My cunning? Oh, no. best oh, I'm good at cunning! <laughs> Can I reroll? No. Oh, no! Damn it. Oh, I need that. All right, that's fine. That's fine. You know what? Until this critical injury is healed, that characteristic is one point lower. So she starts choking you out, and mm. you just. Nah. Oh, maybe it's the jaw, actually. Yeah. You can't speak, maybe, quite as clearly uh -huh. with this damaged mouth. It's breaking my jaw, so I'm gonna. Yeah. Oh, you're going to be wired up, maybe? Yeah, I'd have to be wired up, so it's going to turn turn away. My ability to talk to people. Breaking really well. just shattered your jaw. Just... No! Uh, roll again for your second critical injury. We're going to okay. have plus 40 uh, now. Do uh, you want me to roll? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I like can I get roll. a d10? Did I roll originally? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, no, yeah. yeah. So right. this is going to be plus 30, right? Yes, yeah, sorry, okay. plus 30. Wait, wait, wait. Are those both d10s? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, sorry. One of them was percentile. Yeah. Unbelievable! Uh, can I reroll that? Yeah. Uh, I mean, no. you don't, you, you roll don't, you don't want me 30? to. It's one one twelve. Oh god. Uh, yeah, go I'm, ahead. I mean, I'm, I'm fine taking it. If you don't want me to reroll it, that's absolutely cool. You got so many rerolls. They donated so many. Okay. This is what they're for, right? I'll All right. take one. Or one of your personal. Stuff. It's yeah. I'll, I'll take one of my personal. We'll Sounds good. Tables. Roll it up. <sighs> okay. Oops. Sorry. I'll be oh. doing the whole thing. I love how high you're rolling on these, sir. I know, me too. Is... <laughs> it was meant to be. 84. Uh, oh, so that's 114? <sighs> yeah. Great, you're also temporarily lame. <laughs> Until this injury is healed, you cannot perform more than one maneuver on your team, so no more rapid motorboating. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As that was probably the leg he grabbed when he grabbed you and just yep. crushed mm -hmm. something there. Smashed my leg, kind of turned it backwards. Yeah, and he's still just... <laughs> Crushing your jaw, and you feel like your whole jaw is gonna come off mm. until it just weakens his hand, and then there's a final like. <laughs> <laughs> and his oh, eyes, horrifying. his little horrible pupils widen all the way maximum, 
and then <laughs> the tongue. <laughs> <laughs> Slap a new across the face a couple times. Just, just to add in, insult to injury. <laughs> and the hut, bump of the hut, expires in his throne room. We fade out <laughs> from that way. to the, as we fade out, you guys having dragged the entirely muddied and partially drowned body of Burp the Hut, Longo the, Lugo the Hut, <laughs> who just said, sunk down there. The German guy who was like, I knew you could build a whole time. <laughs> Here the hell. Let me show them, pull the <laughs> axes. <laughs> okay, that's right. We need to get, and the aftermath is you guys are resting up, drying out, getting the mud off of you, setting a course for now, Hutta. Here we go. Here we yeah. go. Well, take us there to conquer some more, my lieutenants. To the Hata! <laughs> Great, so we're going to end there, guys. Excellent session today. Uh, we're going to wrap this one up right now. Next time, so next Thursday we're not playing. Next Thursday is Crit Juice. Turn in for that. Please, please, please. Uh, we'll be back the Thursday after that, so in two weeks, with the second part of this adventure, where you guys will be on Nal Hutta. Doing what you do. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that's about it. 20 experience points to everybody. Woohoo! You're going to have oh. a particularly long downtime as you guys travel through hyperspace, get your bearings Is and all this. Back to tank or be on this ship? Mm. We'll, we'll address that next okay. time. But yeah. what I do want to address is that your guys' force powers, as you've tapped into them more, continue to awaken. And we'll, we'll get into this next time. But you're also going to start getting visions and dreams. I'm going to unlock the Force and Destiny classes for you guys. So in addition to your 20 XP, you're going to choose a Jedi path that you are following, which means you guys are going to be able to start training in your Jedi skills and nice. learning some other Force powers. Thank you for so, the follow, Modidi. Modidi01, thank you so much for the faro. <laughs> All right, guys, that's what it. Thank you. What just happened? No one knows. What happened is it became 11.30 at night and my brain shut off. Yeah, yeah right. So, guys, thank you so much for Stroke. staying and kicking butt. Guys, a chat, you donated the hell out of this yeah, game. Baby. You guys are awesome. Again, just mm. a couple my way would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> no one wants The way you did it was perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a sufficient, I think, challenge. Uh, Perfect, perfectly balanced challenge. That's why I love this I game. Yeah. It's a fun game. I thought everyone did a great job in that game, guys. Okay, so that's it. Uh, tune in tomorrow for Wild Cards. Tune in all next week for all of our great content. And uh, I think that's about it. Any final thoughts? No. no. All right. No. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.